In a world in crisis, can three idiots find hope in the darkest of places? Will love conquer all, or will hate win out in the end? This is a show called Hate. And welcome to A Show Called Hate, a podcast in which we explore love, hate and everything in between in search of greater meaning and perhaps a little perspective. I'm John. I'm Nick. I'm Chris. Thank you for being so respectful during the intro. Oh, you're welcome. I, st- I sort of stared at you in a in a sort of half um, threatening way, oh. but you didn't react. So I shall know yeah, that. I call, I call it was that quite style. half high. That didn't work. I call that yeah. the on the Chris Ray look, basically. It was just my resting face, my resting bitch face. <laughs> What well, I like yeah. about Chris Ray is he's a little bit he's a little bit unpredictable. He might buy you a pint, he might stab you. Who yeah. knows? It's, yeah. No, I don't yeah. think it's important either way, is it? <laughs> no, it's really, it's really up in the air. I'm not that I'm I'm predictably unpredictable in that you can roughly guess what I might do. You're always going to be a bit of a shit. Yeah, yeah. and then you roughly. Uplo- roughly. Then you uploaded yeah. a picture yeah. of you standing next to a cow. Well, I got a, I got um, assaulted by a cow earlier this week. Really? Really? Sort of. That's a, it's not your hate or so love, where, is it? No, no, no. That's all right. Then. Um, where I work has a cow cow many cows 200 cows in fact wait you, i mean you work at a university, university. Huh. i mean i mean it's not going to take much to to whistle it down when we say <laughs> university that has a farm on it cool town university cool town university slash farm uk right mm. and it's got a farm on it it's got a farm on it which supplies uh, some of the most well-known uh, milk and beef brands oh it'd in be the even country. easier to narrow down now I would yeah um, so these are like Fashion designed by cows, long-lived cows that never sure. experience harm yeah, or, or want. They're or... mainly for milking. Good Is this for, because your for... university has a milking course? Uh, sort of, right? Okay. But not really. A dairy. That would that would be underselling the course, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> and I, I work actually, in the marketing your department. Your opposite yeah. job, yeah. <laughs> B- BSc Ong's milking <laughs> that's that's the intro that's to one of, that's the intro to one of the pages to say this is a milking course would be underselling it somewhat i love how please you, apply now it's like yeah. you could do like a, a bachelor of science in milking and also a bachelor of arts in yeah milking, oh yeah there's definitely very art. similar degrees there's a, there's a large degree of crossover yeah there's two courses <laughs> Um, so yes, yeah, so I went down to the farm to have a look and introduce myself to to, the cows. to people and the cows. And the cows really did enjoy my presence. They, really? One of them licked me on my coat and I thought, oh, well, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. That's okay. And then one of them licked me in a in a place that I'd rather not discuss for, at, at length. Right. Slough. Your face. <laughs> slough? <laughs> yes. In my slough, yes. <laughs> um, and yeah, but, and that was captured on video and it is on my Instagram account for everyone to enjoy. And it's going to form part of the digital prospectus coming out very I soon. I would hope so, yes. <laughs> Do you feel you learned anything from this experience? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's good um, from a marketing point of view to be familiar with your surround. Did you learn that you may, in fact, be a, a cow in some way? Like a kindred spirit? Oh, I, or... I, I never doubted that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm at glad. least I'm at least twenty seven percent beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These cows have got it made. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They actually do. Yeah. I mean, they were shitting and pissing on the floor wherever they want, wherever they wanted. What a dream! It was great. That yeah. is the dream. Yeah. Just fell out of them. <laughs> I feel I've mentioned this on the podcast before, but I once shadowed a a, a cow? vet for oh, a vet. for for an afternoon. Wait, I don't think that's I know. I don't think that has yeah. no, because I think I'd have been like, huh, what, what, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I was when I was young, and it was like. Uh, Oh, John likes animals. John yeah. wants to be a vet mm. one day, which I yeah. did at one point in my life. Did you? I did. I think yeah. every child at one point wanted to sort of be in that sphere. I wanted to be a paleontologist. Yeah. It's like a vet for dead things. Involved with animals in some way. Oh, yeah. you wanted to look at dinosaur boats? Oh, big time. Yeah. What, was... you, what do you want to do, Chris Ray? What was your... When you I were... was interested in being a vet, like, quite briefly. Really? But yeah, yeah. as a kid, mm. yeah, certainly. But then you sort of realise that actually... It's incredibly need, hard. It's incredibly really hard, hard to get into and incredibly competitive, I now know. Yes. From working Here's the thing I've thought about for vets, right, which is mad. When you're a doctor, you've got to learn about one species. Yeah. Man. The mm. deadliest prey of all. Sure. When you're a vet... <laughs> Head of the food chain. <laughs> you've got to know as much as a doctor knows about a man. Are you shaking your head? I disagree. But please you've continue. got to know about a lot of species, is yeah. my point. Yeah. You've got, like, my, my... Man <laughs> times... Um, um, how many species are there, roughly? Like, six. Uh, six, yeah. 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 Man times six. Yeah. My, my, six times as hard. My thing... Yeah. But my, but my counterpoint would be... Here we go. If you're a doctor... 
uh, humans are very litigious. <laughs> so you've got to get it right. So I feel if you're a doctor, you're expected to know 100% about humans. Yeah, but you can offset that by the fact that a human can say, oh, I've hurt my knee. Yeah. Whereas an animal just goes, woof. But yeah. also, humans Can't are still involved it. with a vet. Like, if you fuck up a cat, yeah. that human may but still I, sue yeah. you. <laughs> and I say, I say this as an animal lover and an animal owner. Mm -hmm. I do feel that there's a there's a wider margin of error. <laughs> I do agree. So I feel yeah. like you can get away with knowing 40% of a dog, you know. <laughs> I don't think a vet... 40% which, of a dog. lot of which 40%? Well, you know, it's like, there's a lot we don't Back know about the dogs. Liver. There's a lot yeah. of mystery. Yeah. There is. Like, uh, why they can't look up, for example. But in the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed yeah. one man is king. So in a kingdom where true. no one knows anything about dogs, mm. the one guy who knows, like, which end the food goes in, <laughs> is like, oh my God, he's a genius. What a yeah. hero. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is true. And also, I do feel a little bit like my experience with vets has been a bit trial and error-y. Yeah. It's like, we don't really know what's wrong. Try mm. this pill. I guess yeah. we can uh, put a pill in them. Put a pill in it. Yeah, maybe some antibiotics. Yeah, antibiotics yeah. is always good. Yeah. That's kind yeah. of every, that's a cure-all, isn't it? Bit of yeah. that. Yeah. Try that. If that doesn't work, then, you know, we'll try something else. But this Until was going the animal is dead. <laughs> this is going somewhere because you brought it up because you said you shadowed you a vet. You shadowed a vet. I shadowed Let's a vet. Let's get back Did to that. Did he know you were shadowing him? Uh, <laughs> he, never, he never saw me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it was like, um, I think my grandparents arranged. I was sure. visiting with my grandparents. And somehow, God knows how, looking mm. back. It's quite weird, actually. Maybe some money changed hands. Maybe, maybe yeah. Yeah, or some uh, cat biscuits. Yeah, but they slipped him a Welsh fiver, <laughs> which is, you know. It's not legal tender. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a skinned rabbit and a pound. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, but they let me, uh, so in the morning, it was like, oh, uh, John will just stand in, in the vet room <laughs> and kind of just like throw up, watch. And, and, and So this wasn't like part of school or no, work experience? No, no, it was This is just a, yeah. a back alley, like, transaction yeah. where your grandparents were like, Get John in there. But my point is, the black like, market of veterinary access. Yeah. yeah. But my point is, like, in the morning, it was like, oh, we're in the vet office. What do you sure. call it? Surgery? Sure. Whatever. Reception. Reception. Whatever. Well, we're in the bit where we see the, see the animals. Oh, the sort of, yeah, the consultation yeah. room. Sorry. It's like, oh, here's, here's a West Clang Terry who's got some sore ears. You know, <laughs> very, you know, kind of like just simple. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, we hopped in his car. How, would, how do you treat that? Cream. Antibiotics. Well, uh, just, just like cream. a kind of white cream. Okay. Yeah, the dog good. seemed to like it. Yeah. All right. So you got good. in a car with this man. Got, yeah, got in a car with a strange man who I'd met for like I'd known for like four hours, and uh, turned we... out he had no affiliation with the veterinary <laughs> surgery whatsoever. Uh, no. And we drove through some quite rural areas of Wales because he had to go visit a farm. Sure, he did. And of course, we got to this farm, which was a very like you know proper. This is not like a friendly farm. This is not like uh... <laughs> not one of your Chris Ray sort of farms. No. No. no it's not jazz. Not, com not commercial. It's farm. not jazz gut for the media. No. <laughs> this is like you know a down a down homey kind of. It's not farm. just milking, John. I assure you. No. Oh. no. Apply now. <laughs> <laughs> Rise to the top. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's good. There you go. Oh, yeah. Very good. Uh, you can have that. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. Uh, but my point is. Yes. Uh, we got to this farm and it was incredibly filthy. You know, like yeah, not not sure. not a sexy farm, proper at all. grotty farm, proper grotty Real farm. farm. He had to go see. He had to go see a cow or something. Right. Okay. But young John didn't have any wellies, and the mud is like up to my eyeballs. <laughs> and he's like, um, <laughs> he's like, um, well, I guess I guess you can wait here, and I'll I'll come back for you. I imagine you for some reason eight years old in a perfectly white suit. Like yes, like yeah. you just come from your christening. I was, I was wearing my choir robes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and... you had one of those ruffs around your neck. <laughs> I was a very fancy boy. You, know? you were yeah. a fancy boy. And then he's like, and he's like, uh, well, I guess um, I've got to go tend to this cow. So I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll leave you here. Where was here? I, I, I just kind of stood by like a fence. Uh, that's great. And then, and that's then, great work experience. And I think, really good. And I, think I often find I'm just standing by a fence at work. <laughs> but I think he was gone for like 45 minutes yeah. or something like that. And like, you didn't even have a Game Boy or anything. No, like, no, Game Boys didn't there. exist. No, I had an abacus. Okay. About it. <laughs> and I just kind of, I just kind of stood there. And then he came back. And God knows so what you didn't he, see it. No, God knows what he was doing. I maybe heard like a distant gunshot or yeah. something like that. <laughs> we had to destroy it. <laughs> You'll <laughs> learn. You hear a gunshot and he comes out rubbing his belly and it's like, yeah. oh. Such a shame. Delicious. I love the idea that you hear a gunshot and then he comes back out, but he's got the gunshot wound and it's like, he disarmed me, run! <laughs> the cow comes out with a gun. Uh, God, you're still here. <laughs> oh, man. It uh, didn't work. Run! <laughs> he's too strong. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh So that was... Probably quite pointless. So I was something about a farm. We... How old were you? Probably about eight. Okay. Now you've said it. Nice anecdote. Let's say. Let's say eight or ten. Yeah. I've had generic Not age. nine, though. Not no. eight or ten. Eight or ten. Eight not or ten. nine. Binary Definitely choice. not nine. Do you, find that, do you ever get that thing where, like, you're thinking about a memory from your 
childhood and because you're trying to like put it in context you mm-hmm. do assign like an age to it yeah yeah. because yeah. you say like oh yeah it's one time mm-hmm. i uh i found you know like a, there was a runaway dog and i found it or something like that and sure. everyone goes like how old were you and it's like oh, i have no that's idea that's a weird follow-up question isn't it, it happens is. a lot i'm not yeah. just saying it no you've said it, but... i think because i've just asked that question yeah so i can give you some insight maybe as to why people ask yeah that. and, and yeah. the reason is i think that i want to picture sure i want to yeah, picture yeah. the scene yeah and i don't know if it was yesterday and yeah. you're like a fully grown man you know being led astray into the wilderness that would have been better <laughs> probably i would say yeah. Yeah. certainly with the abacus yeah you wouldn't have had to rely on yeah. an abacus yeah. stop playing about abacus <laughs> <laughs> you're always man. playing without abacus john <laughs> But no, but no, but it's weird because I, I would always, when I was telling stories about my childhood, I always be like, uh, I don't know, six. Yeah. There's an arbitrary like number, like yeah. twelve. Yeah. Twelve often lot. comes yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. How old because is it? You're preteen. Because yeah. I, because I have, but the thing is, I have no idea. Like I think now that my brain is mostly fully developed. In fact, in fact, to be well, honest, it's probably starting to shrink. It's probably yeah, it's yeah. Really, like <laughs> underdeveloping now. But yeah. it's like if I if I say like retreating, regressing. But if I say like, uh, oh yeah, I. I um, I, you know, I, I, I found like uh, a runaway dog and I, I, I took it home and the police kept, this didn't happen. But, no, you know, no, I can tell. And, and then the police came and they said I was a very brave boy. Yeah. And someone goes like, how, how old, old were you? you? And if I said like, um, 22, like four, yeah. then everyone go like, Jesus, you found a dog when you were four. Like, yeah. And suddenly you're like, oh yeah. no, no, my story's falling apart. Yeah. And everyone's, and suddenly it sounds like a lie. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. I just you got to pick your number very carefully. I don't know what yeah. my cognitive capacity was at yeah. the age of six. No. Like, Enough that I... you remembered it and were consciously able to take the dog home yeah would a four-year-old do that well, like, I know. this is we're getting into the nitty-gritty well, I have, the point yeah i've got about 12 memories across yeah. the years of one to 12 i've probably got a, I a memory say, like in your life uh, well nearly i have yeah. 12 memories like i have 12 childhood memories right yeah. all of which are a significant moment that all, in my all life. the missing scenes are just like uh the kind of idle screen from link's awakening yeah yeah, just yeah. Kind of <laughs> playing over and over again and yeah. <laughs> basically yeah, yeah. But it's like, I couldn't necessarily tell you where some of those, some of them might, I've got them in the no, wrong order. I couldn't tell. I have a useful watershed because I lived in America for a year when I was nine. Uh, and I know yeah. this for a fact. So sometimes I can picture a memory and it's like, is it pre or post America? Yeah, that's a good and That's quite useful for me. Stick, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and nine is also a really good age because everything younger than that is, you know, sort of like your youth, I suppose, mm. as a kid. Everything older than that is basically your teens. So. Yeah, because yeah, I, I have. But yeah, I have no idea. Like, if you had a six-year-old and a nine-year-old, or like a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old in a fight, and they've each got a knife of equal length, yeah, I have no idea who'd win. Because no. I'm like, I don't know. Well, I have some insight with this. Not that it's ever happened. To That's me. strange. <laughs> I have, I have psychological insights <laughs> because of that knife fight you were in when you were seven. Oh yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember exactly how I felt. And I remember I'm I was so alive. I remember I was seven because I was asked about it later that year. Uh, <laughs> no, but. It's a bit of a trade-off, isn't it? The raw uh, power of a six-year-old against mm. the head smarts of a nine-year-old. That's the thing. Like Three a nine-year-old, a a nine-year-old, if anything, would be slightly more withdrawn than a six-year-old who wouldn't understand the full repercussions. I... However, a nine-year-old would be more tactically astute. Are you saying that... So I'm saying it would level out. Are you saying... Into... But you're saying in terms of physical power, it kind of peaks from the age of six and then starts going I'm saying, I'm saying in terms of slasher motion. Yeah. yeah. I would imagine that the six-year-old would have the advantage. A six-year-old would have a lot of confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be more than maybe false, the nine-year-old. False confidence. False confidence. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But it's like... But if the story is like... Uh, me and my friends were walking home from school mm. and we found a, a and, we, and we found a scary man like face down in the path with sure. a bottle next to him. Like, right, like yeah. uh, kind of like um, vomiting. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, he's incapacitated. You don't need to worry about it. But my point is, it's like if that happens and you're like fifteen, that's hilarious. Yes. If if that happens and you're like ten, yeah. that's like a boy's own adventure, and you're going to call the police. It happens and you're six, six and you're terrified and you just start crying. Yeah. Or something like that. You know. Yeah. And then when you tell the story, people are like, you were six? Yeah. And it's like a huge deal. I know. Yeah. And then it's like, oh my God, do you need counselling? It's like, well, maybe I wasn't six. Maybe I was nine. Is that, yeah. does that change? Oh, if you were nine. Yeah. Oh, if you were nine, yeah. it's fine. If you were nine, you can handle it. Yeah. If you're 15, like, you'd be taking photos with him. Yeah. You know? And then if you're 16, you pick the bottle up. And you see yeah. if anything's left. Yeah. You know. Delicious. 17, you smash the bottle over the back of his head to make sure he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I ended up in that ditch. <laughs> Fucking six year old. Well, I find out who they yeah. are. It's like I, it's, I vividly remember realizing I was going to die, and I, what? Yeah, oh, I see. As a fuck, kid, I thought you meant something awful happened, but no, no. just the general sense of yeah, mortality. Yeah, I, I, I vividly remember I, I was in the lounge of my family's old house. I haven't realized it until just now. So I, can, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so now I can, it's not the time to bring this up. So I can date it. 
and I know I was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have no idea how old. So yeah. I'm like, when when did that bombshell revelation hit that I was mortal? Do your parents still have that same house? No, God. Right. No. Oh, okay. Right. So at least you have that as a timeline. Did somebody but... tell you? Or no. Do you just suddenly think, oh, you just, it suddenly occurs. Everything to you. dies. But also, like I've thought about the memory a lot since then. Mm. So I think in constantly retelling it in my head. Yeah. I think it's probably gone a little Re- warped. Reinforced it. Because I vividly remember that room. I remember the old sofa we had. And I remember the just... The walls were bleeding at the <laughs> time. <Yeah. laughs> well, I just remember having this weird revelation. And I swear, like, in, in telling, it felt like the room was spinning. Because mm. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to die. <gasps> you know. Yeah. I had yeah. quite heavy thoughts as a child. <laughs> it seems <laughs> like it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I feel a bit impressed now. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I got licked by a cow on the balls. <laughs> that was how that started it is funny it was yeah. it was quite funny to yeah. be fair it didn't hurt well uh, I, mean, it, I assume you were dressed uh for, ple- you, for pleasure was <laughs> was i dressed so crotchless we'll have to look at the video we'll have yeah, yeah. we'll have to, we'll you'll have you'll, to you'll, consult the video you'll have you'll have your day in court yeah <laughs> don't worry yeah it'll all be answered then yeah <laughs> um i love how it's like Saying like you got licked by a cow, I just want to linger on that for a little longer. Okay, that sounds like a fun kind of postman Pat esque adventure. Yes, it does. I, yeah. bet, I no, it was fine. I, 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 you know, with some people, if that happened to some people, they'd be like, ah, and run. Yeah, yeah. Almost, I was yeah. like, I was like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, but my point is like, it, you know, saying like that's like. Um, uh, Fireman Sam mm. to, and Fireman Sam and the Farmyard Adventure, yeah. you know, which is not a porno, but like, um, <laughs> oh yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's like, oh, um, the 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 kids uh, in today's adventure, the kids go to a farm and Norman gets licked by a cow, and yeah. you see, and everyone goes like, ah, oh. but in reality, Norman was a little shit. He was he? a little shit. He yeah. was. But in it. reality, if a cow took its its massive kind of hand sized tongue human hand sized cows tongue. do have bigger tongues than one might yeah. imagine yeah. but that's that's kind of horrific that's not like a cute kind of pepper pig encounter that's like no, but a, in a in a, <laughs> in a cartoon i'm imagining a cow would have a human like tongue whereas mm, in reality yeah. it is like a forearm <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like a slimy limb just kind of yeah. slapping you yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah. I can imagine it, it being felt all right. quite... It felt okay. Yeah, you see that now. There was but... a lot of slime on my coat. On my yeah, nice I feel coat. that's for... And on your nuts. And it, it still smells like the farm. That's what, Di- that's yeah. what Disney won't put in their movies. No. You know. No, why would they? Well, the yeah. 4DX version will probably have smells. We'll probably have a smelly Oh, when you're, when you're strapped into, like, the rocking chair. Yeah. yeah. I don't know whether there's smells in that experience, but... That's... When the cow licks you, you're just, like, pinned back. Yeah. You're just, like, thrown back in your chair. That's like, by the force sponge. of the It's like a minimum wage tongue. kind of cinema worker. Yeah. Uh, actually kind of runs down the aisle <laughs> with a, uh, a massive slab of beef. That yeah. just kind of, like, slaps everyone. Smash! Yeah. And you can see him coming. Yeah. The whole place And you don't want like it. Horseradish. You don't want it, but you can't avoid it. And you're desperately trying to, like, undo it. strapped in. But you can't... You sign the release form and it's too late. Your chair's kind of, like, swaying around to much because from a film's perspective the guy's walking to <laughs> come, come watch 4d they said it'll be delightful it'll be fun you yeah. won't get slapped yeah. by a wet beef i think we've talked about this but have you you've seen a 4d mm. yeah have you seen a 4d mm, um the only it's 40x 40x yeah is for extreme. the only experience i have of of um all these dimensions <laughs> is something at madame two swords which was a, an avengers cartoon right but it was 4dx so this that like you like, know, you, like I had to say, I, yeah, yeah. So Iron Man does his uh, blasters or whatever they're called, the hand blasters, Repulsors, whatever. Yeah. Repulsor rays. And it made like a noise like here, and there was um, like water, the, and there was areas. rats running along the floor. And yeah. see, when yeah. you said uh, it made a noise here, you gestured at. Oh, your sorry. Ears, yeah, it's an audio format, isn't it? Which is where um, like noises generally <laughs> come in. And but just... there was a sp- yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a speaker by my ear, John. <laughs> oh, <I see. laughs> You see, it's like... When, can't say anything, can you? No. But it's like, it'd be like right saying, so. so I saw this movie, right? And yeah. Captain America threw his shield. It was really exciting. And it kind of, yeah. the action kind of went in like here. <laughs> eyes, and I'm yeah. pointing at my eyes. You yeah. know, and I and I heard a noise. <laughs> there was a here. speaker by my ear. Oh, I see. Yeah. One on each. And there was a screen in front of your face. Actually, the screen was on the ceiling. What? Kind of. Really? It was like... What's the point of that? I can't, I'm struggling to think of what actually happened. How old were you? Uh, I was about 32 years <laughs> old. <laughs> Um, no, seriously, <laughs> this was sure. very recently. Um, and like, the, there was a cinema screen, and then I think the ceiling became the screen. Wow. So, Were you lying on your back? Did your well, chair you tell. Did your it's chair rotate kind of, back? Like, it's like a new kind of white. I think it possibly it up. Oh, I think it possibly <laughs> moved the chair. Yes. Yeah. Forty X the chair. Anyone who's been to Madame Tussauds recently will be able to let us know. I have never been to Madame Tussauds. No. Never. It's all right. 
Yeah. I quite liked it. Were they? Did they have any flagship wax figures? Well, it's probably the, the kind of people you'd expect. There was a um, Star Wars exhibit when we went, which I think is why Liz Surely that's really easy, though. purchased it for me. Because they can just take, like... Uh, Who's fallen from favour? Who's a, who's a wax mm. figure they wouldn't want anymore? Well, there's a good doc- good documentary. There's a documentary about Man of Two Souls and what they do with the ones that are taken <laughs> off uh, rotation. There's a horrifying say. stock room. Yeah. Oh, it's God. just heads, yeah. Oh, no. I, was, I, was, I thought they'd just put, like, a Stormtrooper helmet on them and then... That would have been easier. You've got a dude, yeah. Is it yeah. realistic? Like Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, very. Yeah. Like, to the extent that it looks like Brad Pitt, but very still. Yeah. Really? I mean, yeah. You, they look... you, if they started moving beyond the initial shock... It wouldn't be a surprise that that didn't, thing was alive. Didn't we go wow. to a yeah. wax museum that was shit. in Vancouver? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Vancouver Island or whatever. I thought the guy on reception was a waxwork. <laughs> so, God, that's good. That's realistic. It was. <laughs> and then he moved. And I Was that a prank sh- that he did on everyone? No, he, sets their I just still. wasn't paying attention. Oh, I see. And he moved and I shit myself. Because you genuinely just thought some he was guy. a waxwork. And then we went in the museum and I was like, oh, there's no chance that guy was a waxwork because all of this is shit. <laughs> I uh, I watched. A, we went. Yeah, we went in Vancouver. We did. Island on Vancouver yeah. Island. Yeah. And that's no longer there. When Lucy and I went back so in not. 2014, it wasn't melted. There. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How ironic. The actual building was made of wax. That <laughs> yeah. Was the, yeah. Uh, I watched a YouTube video all oh. about a, 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 a attraction at Disneyland. Oh yeah. Right. Which was cool. It was meant to be the gimmick was you meant to get in like a little little cart goes around on a rail. It's sure. very slow. It's not a fast one. Okay. Chugga, chugga, chugga. But you're meant to be uh, in like a limo. Oh, and nice. you're meant to be it's meant to be the celebrity experience so you're getting papped yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so it's meant to be like oh i see so your agent's on the phone he's like you've got to get to the premiere in time this is weird and i know and it's meant to like <laughs> speed through hollywood why is he not picking me up if he's my agent uh he should have arranged he, alternative he, he transportation well, he, he arranged for a, 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 a pick like a limo driver to come get you a slow limo where's my but he's like we gotta hurry and the point is that like <sighs> they had animatronics of like licensed celebrities sure who'd like pop out of Hello. doors and stuff yeah. yeah so you have like a john travolta kind of like oh, lean no. forward. of course yeah. he lent his image to it yeah he, he, he looks like anyone. he looks like one of them anyway but they're, oh, but they're a bit true but they're a bit shit celebrities this is like yeah. kind of like who was like a c-list celebrity they could afford in like 2000 sure well actually no you can date it because the problem is the idea it was meant to be a high-speed limo chase oh god and this was launching where was this, oh, where was this? No. this disneyland oh no uh, this was launching in the late 90s no. shall we say and then a, a news event happened a certain news event. a certain news event happened oh, where yeah. maybe a significant figure died in a paparazzi in a, chase, in a paparazzi chase oh, oh sorry <laughs> yeah i'd be like oh no we so, spent 30 million yeah. pounds on this oh no so what, turn the limo into a like a train car so so what should have been like a, a high speed thing became a really slow one right. they turned down the speed and it's meant to just be awful it's just really shit i can imagine but anyway my point the reason i bring it up is, mm. is that they scrapped it and in this horrifying like what happens to animatronic figures when you're done <laughs> with them they turned all the animatronics mm. into Monsters Inc. Oh, characters. God. So you know, uh, in horrifying. Monsters Inc., they've got the figures that wear like yellow hazmat suits. Yeah. Yes, that you yeah. don't ever see there. So they, they eventually. Oh, I see. Eventually, this became like a Monsters Inc. car ride thing. Right. And they've got animatronics, which are just the so yellow what, the hazmat figures. So the actual celebrity figures. animatronics are in these. Yeah. Oh God. And it's kind of nightmarish when you think about it. Like you can see them they're in the same pose, and it's like, oh, that's John Travolta waving. But now it's like an animatronic. Is John Travolta still in there? Yeah. <gasps> that's horrifying, isn't it? Isn't that grim? Oh, that is grim. Yeah. It's weird. Why is that grim? I don't know. That's weirdly yeah. grim. I shouldn't feel sad for robot anim- uh, John, John Travolta. Travolta. He doesn't care it about you. It can't feel. He's doing all right. It's fine. No. He, but he, yeah, he was mind. actually programmed to feel pain, which is yeah. weird. Which yeah. is kind of weird, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that if, does sound bad. If, if John Travolta and his animatronic figure had somehow gotten confused and swapped around, that would explain... And we, and we can't rule that out. That would explain maybe like the last 20 years yeah. of, of films. <laughs> what? So you're saying real John Travolta is in that suit? <laughs> Still screaming. <laughs> he's, a, he's a wild dude, isn't he, John Travolta? He has lost his way, shall we say. Yeah, he's, oh, he's making choices. Yeah. Yeah. Bless him. He's got hate. I've got one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. I'll oh, hit you with a hate. Hit me with a hate. Hit me with a hate. You know how, usually, when there are, like, roadworks or some kind of construction, there's, like, a benefit to me, the consumer. You specifically, Chris this is Not this... me specifically, like, all of us. This is going to be, like, a man of the people hate, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah, okay. No, I think no, you're going to know what's coming, roughly. Okay. 
So, you know, normally it's like, oh, shit, that road's being done. That's annoying. But, yeah, but, it's but, I, but I realize there will be long-term benefits. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And look, here I am now enjoying those long-term benefits. That that road works was a minor inconvenience in my in the rich tapestry the of life. Past, if yeah. you will. But look at me driving now. Just look at me Isn't now. this wonderful? Yeah. Doesn't happen like that. And here's, <laughs> and here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Uh, recently, there for the last 18 months, there have been a number of works going on around our houses. There have. And there's been a lot of green barriers going up because they're working on the fibre optics. They are. The fibre Under optics. the road. And the idea is it benefits us. I'm nodding. It's still going on mm -hmm. because it's now in my... The route I take to work, I take a detour to avoid the original internet works. My detour now has the internet works on it. Oh, boy. So I don't know whether to go back to my original. That's a side issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm currently in the market for new broadband and Wi-Fi supplier. Because, okay. they, because Virgin Media have pissed me off. <laughs> and it turns out that despite all these works that have been going on for the last 18 months, there is no fibre optic network in Cheltenham. And I cannot change supplier because no fucker supplies it to my house. What's the point of the works that have been going on? Blocking my driveway, <laughs> blocking my road, blocking my route to work, blocking my route to the shops. Oh, but there'll be a benefit to that. Bullshit. <laughs> Have, the thing is, because where's we, the benefit to me, because the consumer? We, but because we all live in this weird little Bermuda Triangle of less mm. than a mile, you know exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. But have you had those flyers through the door that go like super fast fiber optic is now available in your area? It isn't though. I haven't had those. Flyers. I've had those flyers. I I haven't. I think I probably have had something to though to that end. Yeah. However, I put something in like a general search engine, like oh this is my address. You can put your postcode in and it finds yeah. your address. Oh, you can, you've got um, this available. Oh, cool. Very good. Well, I'll put my details in there. Then they phoned me up. This actually happened last week. Then they said, oh, hi. Yes, I see you put an inquiry in about internet. Oh, unfortunately, we don't supply fiber optic to your area. Well, don't put it on the fucking website then saying you do. And what are the point of these works that are going on if yeah. I'm now not enjoying super fast broadband at a very cheap price? And What's also, that about? Where's my benefit to the, all the where's inconvenience? Where's my broadband? Where's my broadband? To all the inconvenience, you, us three, as residents of this area, have suffered over the last 18 uh, months. Well, where's the benefit? Well, two out of three ain't bad because it hasn't made its way down your... It hasn't... Well, it's... So no, you drive on these roads. It's effect, it affects me in the sense of when I'm trying to leave my house certain ways, mm. I will always meet them every yeah. time. Absolutely. But you're right. It's not on my road yet or even on the road the main road that my road's connected to yeah. yet. Mm. Um, but I assume it's just a matter of time. Probably. The grim, the grim spectre of it was seeing it come closer and knowing I can't but it was move right my outside. house. I, had to move, <laughs> I, can't, I can't escape. <laughs> I had to move their barriers once. I'm, yes, I probably and... shouldn't have done that, actually. But... Well, no, because it was blocking your driveway. It was blocking my driveway, so yeah. I, just, I just went, I'm moving this. I think I may have mentioned it before. I just moved it. Yeah. But it's been going on for a long time. Well, yeah, I mean, it it's, has. It's, it's, and yeah. I get it. These things need to be done. I understand that. Yeah. But when I can't see, if I've gone through all that and still they're saying, no, I can't do it. Is the reason, though, that you, you can't get any broadband mm. is because they haven't finished yet? Yeah, but they finished down my road. Yeah. It's like, what's the point? If they're not doing, if it's not happening now. Maybe it's like Christmas lights there. They don't throw the big switch yeah. until the whole thing's the ready. Thing is, you think it'll be a big launch event? Well, yeah. you've now you've got fiber optics. But the launch yeah. will be online. Yeah. The thing is that when they do it, though, it's still like, it's, it's running past your house. It's not running into your house. Well, you so, don't get fiber to your door, do you? No, but if you want it. Wait, if you want it, you can pay to can have. You? They'll dig up your drive. What do I do? I talk to the guy on the road, just like, hey. Yeah. I mean, he's there with the digger. Give, right? give him a twenty. Yeah. Give him a tenner. Yeah. yeah, but they will. They'll, they'll funnel their way in. But they'll just leave my drive in disarray, won't they? Oh, they'll ruin it. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So what's yeah. the point? We have um, a very nice gentleman, elderly gentleman, who lives opposite. Mm. Elderly gentleman. Yeah, he's watching us right now. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, he's even taking his trousers off. That's uh, nice. Yeah. Again. But um, he's he's got he's got he's got. <laughs> Is there a cow? Over there? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but this elderly gentleman, he's he's got a few health issues, and I've been chatting to him, and he says he finds it quite hard to walk on our shitty pavements now. Yeah, they're yeah. all fucking ruined. Yeah, yeah because big like time. They, they are. They ripped up the pavements and they threw them back in, just yeah. higgledy piggledy. It's just tarmac. And oh, again, awful, I, yeah. I kind of get it, and although it should be better than that, I agree. Yeah. But there's no benefit. Where's the benefit to it? It's when when I'm, I appreciate again there probably will be a benefit down the line, but this has been going on a long, long, yeah. long, 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 long time. Like, the thing is, like, inconveniencing us daily. We're um, and we still have no fast broadband at low, low prices. It's true. We, yeah, yeah. We obviously speak to the youth quite a bit on this show. We've got a very what, young. What do you mean? As in, well, I, our I think audience. Our key demographics are kind of like eighteen to twenty-three. Are they club goers? Hey you guys. Know, um, 
into the into the ket. Uh, How many you know, people really... of that age do you think listen to podcasts? Full stop. Uh, What's a podcast? Ain't so. Yeah, that's yeah. A good point actually. My point is, are do we sound like very old men when we complain about the rogues? I mean, we're 102 episodes in, so I don't. I think that shit may have sailed. It, it to might honest. have done. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm here yes. to complain about things that are annoying me, and guess what, folks? To be honest, this is annoying me. <laughs> of all the things to, to try and get the youth on side, mm. I think talking about lack of internet, lack mm. of Wi-Fi, I think they can relate to yeah, that. Kids yeah, kids love Wi-Fi. Kids love Wi-Fi. What They're if... like, oh, I need to, I need to tick or talk. Just yeah, exactly. One, one, one of those. One of those. Preferably okay. both. In one well, I, need, I need Wi-Fi to do that. Well, ju- just to play like devil's advocate then. Okay. What if I John's said... going to take the side of the builders Ooh, now. No, 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 no. Like he they... took the side of the bin man. <laughs> and like he took the side. Yeah, you, yeah no, no. Because John, why <laughs> you... do you always take everybody else's side? <laughs> I, only, I only take their side when you're objectively in the wrong. I'm not, I do, I'm not. I, I do agree. Oh, no. That, no, no. Well, but, John but, just, <laughs> John's just trying to, John's just trying to alienate no, me. No, yeah, no. Taking, the, taking the side of the institution. <laughs> look, as, as and when, it's only a matter of time, as and when you appear in court over this. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're I mean, gonna that's be, happening. You're going to be rigorously grilled on the stand. Yeah, he's you, preparing you for You've this. got to be able to defend your argument. So okay. I'm, I'm putting you through it now. Okay. All right, do it. What if, I'm t- what if I said to you, Mr. Mr. Ray? Uh, Ray, is it? Um, Mr. Ray. Yes. Okay, right. He's, Ray. Already, he's already failing. <laughs> Pull up. <laughs> Mr. Mr. What is your name? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Permission to treat the uh, witnesses hostile. <laughs> <laughs> Permission pending. Um... My point is, what if I said to you, mm. the future is is fast approaching, and I if, if we don't act now, Cheltenham mm. will no longer be the city of tomorrow. It'll knock, be knock. City. Who's yeah. that? It's Mark Zuckerberg with the metaverse. Oh, yeah. I didn't understand any of those words. <laughs> the, uh, the co- <laughs> I barely did. The, uh, the court recognises Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, it's me, whoa, it's whoa. me, Mr. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, I, we we need to drag Cheltenham kicking and screaming into sure. the twenty first century, and that means okay. if, into the eighteenth century, and that means <laughs> that means digging up all the pavements and laying fiber optics. I agree with that. In, I agree with that in theory, but it's been done. Where is that? Where is the future? It's not. It's still not here. It's the been fu- done. The uh, where is it? The future's uh, in those pipes. It's on the way. The future's on the way. It's just. Is the, it though? But the pipes aren't done. When? Where? How? Probably another ten years, maybe less. I, maybe I, more. But I'm being inconvenienced now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. Yeah. Actually, come to think of it, it's a tough question. It's a tough question. Okay. The whole point is that no like comment. this improvement. This <laughs> Knock. Imp- no. No. But, but, but this improvement project, because we, we, uh, you and I, Krishray, live along a lot uh, a the major same road. road, the same road. Yeah. God, people are going to triangulate. Yeah. Is that a question? Well, no, no, it's a statement. Okay. But my point is like no comment. This this fiber optic, <laughs> this 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 terrible worm of internet mm. is meant to be like creeping its way. But my down. My, my internet's fine. My That's internet's great. My internet's yeah. fine. I don't now. need yeah. fiber now. My internet, my, I, have, I have internet that is fine. I'll be, I'll be it. They're trying to charge me more. Yeah. yeah. Virgin. So I'm trying to look at my options. Turns out I don't have any options. Despite the fact I've been inconvenienced for the last 18 months. So what was the point of that if I'm still receiving the same service at a higher price yeah. and I'm still caught in traffic? Okay, but my, <laughs> the, the, the question I'm genuinely asking is, it's meant to be going along this road mm. and it's creeping along. Sure. Like it hit you, it hit us. Bam, the kinda, internet. Yeah, well, well, the, 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 the piping, the, the, the fat pipe. pipes. Well, you got, the yeah, you had, a, you yeah, had we an had, issue, didn't you? We had it as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's come a creeping around our little cul-de-sac. Sure. But there is a bridge between you and I. Uh, yes. Oh. And there's maybe like, what, an inch of like tarmac on oh, it? Oh, I hear what you're saying. So my point is, they've not dug up the bridge. So they're building the infrastructure before they've connected it. Yeah. So I'm not connected to you. Like, the cable that destroyed our road. That's why. That's yeah. not connected. That's why there's no fucking fiber. Because all they're doing is they're creating an isolated system right mm. here on our, on our sure. estate. And then at some point in the distant future, when we've all got jetpacks, mm. they're going to connect that isolated system to the greater system and suddenly fiber. But then what about what? who does the bridge? They're not going to do the bridge. They're going to put two steel brushes okay. either side of the train track. That sounds and even as, more inconvenient. As long as two trains are constantly moving between them, the, the data will arc. The data will, the data will flow. But my internet is fine now. I watched a 4K movie what? the other day. 4K, 4K. I got a 4K telly now mm. because my telly broke. Indeed, that's another. Yeah. That's another matter. Um, that's irrelevant. It's been, been a bad. It's been a bad couple of weeks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like. Um, <laughs> So I watched the new James Bond movie ah. in 4K, and it played perfectly. Delightful. So it's fine. And that's it, on regular Muggle internet. That's on Virgin's supposedly fast internet, and mm. it is fine. It is fast. It's fine. But why then do Virgin have a monopoly on it when I've been through all these these roadworks? 
to improve our infrastructure mm. for the future or the present or whatever, how come Virgin are still the only ones who can supply me with the broadband I require? Indeed. Here's a weird thing. I thought I was on fiber. <laughs> well, I think I am. I think I am with Virgin, but they're putting their prices up. What I'm but saying... how can we have fiber already? Well, uh, but I'm not. I'm pretty sure that because I remember opting for it when yeah. I when I got our internet and our internet's been amazing. Yeah, right. And I assumed that that was probably because it was fiber. Yeah. But now I'm starting to question that. <laughs> but then who, nobody knows what's going on. Or is it like fiber is involved somewhere? Well, this is the thing, isn't it? Because when they say you're on fiber, the fiber might stop, mm. you know, just in Gloucester somewhere, mm. and then it's copper fucking. You know, it's just a line of spades. But it's all connected a problem, to wrong with our <laughs> shitty Victorian country because it's yeah. like you have a water network. It's like we're running off like lead pipes from like the 17th century. Cause... Well, yeah, because I mean, we've talked before on this show that yeah. I get my electricity in my water supply and it's just charged and I get yeah. them both the same way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Um, it's a shocking glass, but. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think if we ever got this true promised internet, we wouldn't know what to do with ourselves? Like if you suddenly yeah, have probably. fiber optic. That would it would just it would just pour into your eyes like yeah the, yeah. the overstimulation would but be I don't insane. I don't know what more I need I appreciate there is more technology probably coming our way probably but there's or is time. technology done do you can watch do we think technology I think technology is very nearly yeah. okay with yeah. technology but oh, that's when, good. when these roads we're hitting that's good news so I'm already yeah. confused <laughs> but I mean there was a time like 2012 mm. Lucy and I were in our first rented house together sure we download this <laughs> we download this <laughs> Netflix app Whoa. that everyone's talking about and there's like two movies on it and yeah. we're like eh, yeah. that's relatively good two is for money. pretty good <laughs> and you know and you'd press you know you'd press like play and sometimes it would buffer yeah. for a bit you get a loading bar and after like a couple of months we were like I don't think there's enough on Netflix we're going to cancel our subscription yeah, and, we, and we went without Netflix. Netflix for a few years yeah so but nowadays it's like I can go on Netflix now and I can watch yeah. um, you know a two hour movie sure and it would stream instantly. Yeah. There was no, like sometimes, very, very rarely, I'll mm-hmm. get like a loading wheel for a second and I will kick off. Yeah. yeah. I will like turn my coffee table. I'll be like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. For a split second. I pay my taxes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll go and sit in a traffic jam because I can't get anywhere because of the internet works. Mm. That's when I get out. The thing is, there's more there's more streamers in the world. So there's more people uploading stuff nowadays. Yeah. They're, the, they're the problems. It's for live streamers. You're alienating our young audience. Yeah. Stop this. Shut yeah, this down. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's for people who record hundredth episodes live. <laughs> who are, They're using up all the internet. Who are fucking us over. Yeah. Yeah, but that was in my house. Yeah. On my incredible fiber optic dream. Well, there you go. Dream network. Well, I just don't understand how the pipes work. I mean, it's uh, like you know, because you've got bits coming down the pipe, but that doesn't affect the bits that are going up the pipe. You know. Yeah, it's remarkable. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. And it's like. <laughs> And it's like, maybe I've got a wide pipe, or maybe I've got a narrow pipe, but it's going fast. I don't know. I don't know. But all I all I do know, John, yeah. is that I'm yet to see the benefit of this wild inconvenience. And I think that's really the lesson to take away here. And I wait with bated breath for that to happen. All I know When is... it does, you'll be the first to know. Yeah, well, it'll be a love. Because we live in the same yeah. area, and it'll be a love. And it'll be, yeah. yeah. Well, all, all I know is that when uh, the digging began, mm. and we saw them coming, this is like a year ago. I was about eight, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight or twelve. Eight or twelve, yeah. one of them. That would be like a sepia-toned uh, yeah. biography cover. Well, the, the, like the, the Hovis digging. advert music plays when, in the background. When the diggers came. Yeah. But like my point Chris is that Ray. When yeah. it, we, we get a letter through a post saying, like, we're about to begin, we're going to be exciting news we're gonna fuck up your well, house I can, the name of the company is city fiber oh yeah yeah oh they don't give a fuck i complained to them yeah. directly i've not done it yet but i'm really close i, I complained <laughs> because we get a letter through a post saying hey good news good news hey good, good news resident good news so fiber optics coming your way it's not uh, it's a lie well that's what they said this is how they open and uh, it's gonna be skying work it's gonna be great and the disruption will be minimal but yeah, it's coming sure. your way oh shit and then day one they cut through a pipe or something and like they destroy our internet like yes. our internet and our phone line just go down instantly yeah <laughs> like first day instantly <laughs> you know and, yeah. and who do you complain to yeah. There's no, no one cares you can't contact anyone without the internet the man on the street doesn't care he's just digging a hole yeah the thing, how do you send you know? an email can't send an email can't send an email without the internet That's and true. of course I've mentioned on the show but Friday evening it's like they turn up the digger they literally dig up our entire pavement we yeah. have a we have a moat in front of our house yeah and then like 5pm comes like a guy pulls a cord and a, a, a bird <laughs> brachiosaurus, <laughs> bird. <Yeah>. <laughs> a brachiosaurus <laughs> roars you just, you just hear a faint yabba dabba do in the background <laughs> and they literally just put like a plank across yeah. the across the moat yeah, and that's it. that like, legally is enough yeah, we're trapped in our house for a yeah. weekend. <laughs> Send and food. And I bet there's just tarmac out there now. 
I haven't actually looked. But well, it's not great. It's pretty, yeah. pretty Well, there's shit, a portcullis out there now because yeah. John yeah. had to build one. Well, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. actually looks bloody awful, if I'm honest. It's a drawbridge and all sorts. But who, there's no, you can't complain to anyone. No, and that's part of the problem. You don't own your pavement, Chris Ray. That's public not yet. property. No, not yet, I no. don't. Oh, you're going to buy it? You're going to no. buy, buy your own pavement? Well, apparently the tree opposite my house is my problem. <laughs> is it? Fuck oh, off. Apparently, because of laws. Because of laws. Because and of bullshit yeah. laws. And legislation. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, all I'm saying is, if you're going to inconvenience me, as an official body, yeah. at least let me enjoy the benefits of that. Yes, yeah, so if you're listening, any county council, city councils, any... if you're listening to the show, yeah. and you want to inconvenience Chris Ray... Yeah, just do works for no reason. Yeah. What if yeah, you paid... That will really that wipe really me out. Piss yeah. what, what if you brought your own cable, and you're like, I want to save a bob, and you you, <laughs> you come out to the workmen, and you're like, hey, I just have, I've got like a few loops of cable here, like, you just plug me in. Yeah. Yeah. And they just... They're like, all right, yeah, and they just like connect you. It's just like you've got. Well, that'd be great. Yeah, you've, you've got, got ten extension leads just plugged into one yeah. another, like a like a daisy. Chain. Can't see a problem with that. Yeah, it's just you, like just use this. You've I'm got not even like... burying them. I'm just like <laughs> laying them on the on the pavement. You've got ten Game Boy originals and eleven kind of game uh, link cables. Game link cables. Yeah, yeah. forming like a snake down like, your can garden. Can you use this? Yeah. Yeah. Like what the can fuck? Do anything is, with this? What the yeah. fuck yeah. is wrong with you? Sure, why not? Yeah, this is the third time today we've been asked about this. And then that would that would solve everybody's problems. Just the thing, like they can go to all this effort putting this incredible infrastructure around the sea. We don't know it's incredible. Though. But 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 the amazing potential of the internet is still six meters away from my house because it only goes through the pavement. Yeah. And all I know is that the cable that brings me all my life giving internet <laughs> um, is is so close to the surface yeah. that whenever it rains, the cable actually bubbles up. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. This is what we're working yeah, with. Yeah, and you can yeah. see ripples across your Netflix feed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just a fish coming through the screen. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you know, it's not, if I want to stream the latest season of The Witcher, I can see the soil kind of bubbling outside. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 you just have to see past that. Yeah, It's true. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. No, that's no, fine. Well, right. I've got hate. You know. Oh, Nick's got hate. Okay. I can move us away from this painful please, subject. Please, please do. And move us on to Crypto Bros. Oh, oh Crypto Bros. You know uh, Crypto Bros? Like the Crypto Factor? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Entirely not like that. Oh, so, so... my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crypto... Yes. Is is a is a thing. Uh, yeah. You know how we were talking about alienating our youthful audience? Yeah. yeah. Well here we go. Let's do this. Let's do Let's it. go. Yeah, cheerio, let's do it again. They're not still listening. No. Not after um, that last bit. Crypto's a thing that the youth like. And 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 there's a breed of uh crypto enthusiasts, mm. which is this sort of that weirdly there's the there's the technological cryptocurrency sure. NFT world, yeah. and then there's the bro we're alphas world and for some reason okay. these two spheres have come together to form crypto bros who like create content online okay and they and they're all about like your portfolio right. and and but we're all sort of framed in this kind of like toxic masculinity sort of way yeah. where you're like you're a cooler guy if you're on this grind and if you're if you're you're, you're buying like and computer. selling crypto they're like computer guys i think we may need cool. to, you may need to drill down a bit here like, okay the, uh... so cryptocurrency is like bitcoin yeah. Yeah. I'm with, yeah. So, uh, but but it's more than just the cryptocurrencies now. Okay. There's like the, that that technology of those cryptocurrencies now being applied to other things. I understand. Right. Do I'm you? with you. I'm with you so far. I don't far. think I do. No, okay. <laughs> I'm with you so far. Yeah. So we've moved away from basically crypto. Uh, the system allows things mm. to be like. What would be the word for this? Like um, made unique online. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We talked about NFTs before. We have, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. So it's like it's that technology. Yeah. But whether it be cryptocurrency or whether it be NFTs or whatever, there's this culture developing mm. where the the idea is is that you're more masculine or you're more badass in some way if you are good at this. If you are if you are tracking this. That stuff goes against your... everything we learned when we were kids. Doesn't it? Well, I think maybe we're the idiots. Oh, we definitely apparently. Yeah. Yeah. But what I wanted to do is highlight a specific few bros. Okay. Who came together? And, <laughs> so and are they? Are they like? They're like traders. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But no, they're not. Are they good with computers? Well, well, I don't think you have to be. Okay. That's the wild no, that's thing. That's fine. Yeah. Just so I know what kind of person I I'm. I think picturing. you need to have some capital you're willing to kind of okay. throw at this. Um, yeah. What's the word? Um, uh, snake oil. Yeah. Snake oil. Snake oil. Yeah. 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 yeah this made okay. up. Thing. So they're like, yeah, bro, I just traded my fucking NFT for a yeah. crypto. Buck. And I'm also watching the, that's you know, pretty, that's, pretty, that's, pretty, right? that's pretty good, actually. Roughly, yeah. roughly right. I think that's right, right. Yeah. This, guy, this guy sounds like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we got an insider <laughs> on the phone. He's yeah. speaking our language. Yeah. Mm. I'm picking up what he's putting down. <laughs> so NFTs are this idea of, like, you take a thing, like a yeah. shitty drawing that some 
Someone did, sure. right? And then you make it unique in some way yeah, using yes. some technology. Sure. Right? Code, big and code. then and then if you if someone buys that, they officially own the only version of that thing. Yes. Right. So a few a few of these bros yeah. bought uh, a book, right, online. Oh my god. And the book was you've heard of the movie Dune. Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. So before the current movie of Dune, mm. there was an attempted yes. movie back in the day that never got made. Yes. Uh, by a director called John Orofsky, right? Okay. And he got as far as creating a book, right, right, that was like his pitch for the film. Okay. And it had all these sketches and concepts and ideas for what right. Dune was going to be. Okay. Bearing right. in mind, this movie was never going to work. No, because it was all it was it was overblown. It was way over budget. It was right. just impossible. Like uh, I just I, I know a couple of things about this movie. Like Mick Jagger was going to be in it. Okay. Apparently, yeah. Why Salvador Dali was going to be in it. Christ. But but Salvador, that's just going to blow the budget but, straight away. No, what you talk about because they said we. I, he says I I I want. Uh, Salvador Dali to be mm. in this movie, and he said, and Salvador Dali being a and he sur- agreed to be in the movie. Well, Salvador Dali said, "I will be in it if you pay me a million dollars per hour." Oh. Because he's a surrealist. Okay. He wanted to be the highest paid Hollywood actor of all time. Right. So Jodorowsky was like, "No, no, no, this is perfect. <laughs> we'll buy him for one hour, and then we'll make a Salvador Dali robot." Brilliant. To act all the other bits, which is probably more expensive. This is, yeah. this is, not, this is not going to <laughs> happen. We'll get, a, we'll, yeah. we'll get a fifty million dollar robot. So safe to say, it was a cursed movie to begin yeah, with. It's never going to get there. Yeah. The only thing that remains from this this magical uh, mm. dreamscape that he planned <laughs> were these twenty books that he apparently made to pitch it to various studios, right. which of course failed. Yeah. Um, and every now and then, one of these books crops up in auction, right? Mm. And it goes for between twenty and thirty thousand dollars because they are kind of rare. There's only twenty of them, and yeah. they obviously contain all these sketches and ideas and stuff okay. for a movie that never came, right? So another one crops up um, right. on on the auction online auction. I think I'll buy that. Yes, and well, says, don't says a bunch of crypto bros. Yeah, who have been uh, so working this is a, this the is a um, physical book. Physical book, right? Yeah, okay. bound. You know, paperback. I mean, it's rare, isn't it? Very so, rare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. And despite the fact that they always go for twenty to thirty thousand mm. dollars, they just dive straight in at the beginning of the auction and bid three million dollars. Brilliant. So of course they win the book. Are they trying to inflate the market? No. They grossly misunderstood the value of this book, <laughs> right? So A, they didn't seem to realize that there were others of them at all, right? right? B, they they had a whole plan where their a whole plan was going to be that they would um, rip each page out and separately turn each page into an NFT, which they would then that's, sell to people that's online, a terrible plan. thereby tripling their 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 income. Because okay. of course they spent three million, but they're going to make so much more yeah. off that. And then thirdly, they believed they had bought the rights to June and were going to make an animated series. Oh, God. <laughs> so that's like me buying... Oh, God. So, so say like I, go, I, I go to an auction house. Yeah. And someone is selling, I don't know, um, a copy of Murder on the Orient Express. I was going to say Death on the Nile. That's oh, weird, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. It's a first edition. Yeah. Agatha so Christie. so it's a little pricey. Yeah. A little yellowed, but original. Mm. Yeah. And I buy it and I go... So maybe that cost me like ten thousand pounds or something. Yeah, and then I buy it. I take it home and I go. I now own the very concept, the, yeah. whole, the whole idea of murder on the Orient of Express. murder on the Orient Express, yeah. which means I, I can do whatever I want. With I it. can do whatever I yeah. yeah anything. Or it's like me buying a copy of the Beano and thinking I'm one of the Bash Street kids. Yeah, you <laughs> own that in it. <laughs> you own Pug now. Yeah, yeah. You you are now yeah the Bash Street kids. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's like me going into Waterstones. Yeah. And buying and buying a colour in uh, book of dinosaur drawings. You're a dinosaur. And now. thinking I'm now a black and white. You have the rights dinosaur. to the dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Like it's wild. It's yeah. absolutely wild. Particularly considering that they know that a movie has just come out. I've got a, I've got a really clear picture of what these guys look like. In my head. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think really, their like t-shirts super are clear. probably too tight. Yeah. To yeah. some extent. Yeah. yeah. So so obviously the, the hilarious thing is is that they then went straight onto Twitter mm. and were like, look at this amazing thing that we've done. And and they were called out on it almost instantly. The mm. first problem being you don't own anything special. There are 19 others of these in the world. Okay. And they were like, well. <laughs> Se- secondly, it's already online for everyone to view because yeah. one of the previous owners has scanned every page and put it on a Google Doc. So anyone and Superb. everyone has already read this. So your NFTs are worthless. Yeah. And B, you do realise that like Warner Brothers owns the rights to a Dune movie, and all you have is a book of ideas from a film that never could have been yeah. and never will be. Yes, one copy, one, one copy, yeah. copy of yeah. a book that's been relatively mass produced. Yes, now especially yeah. online, infinite people have read it. That's great stuff. Yeah, they really, they really gooned it. They yeah. really dropped the. Uh, <laughs> they really dropped it. <laughs> they dropped the sandworm. Imagine that. that imagine one. that meeting <laughs> when they all walk in high fiving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be great. Yeah. But, but the point is like. You don't get to make a decision like that 
without you know it's like you can't build a tower unless you've got some good foundations you think you don't get to a towering level of stupidity unless you've 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 got to build up to it gradually i know and to dismantle it you know <laughs> yeah. you can't just go in and go like but but no mate you that's that's you don't it's just a book it's objectively not true like you it's yeah. like having to ex- go back to first principles and explain what language is <laughs> you know you gotta go so far back yeah I, I guarantee that conversation went something like this sure one guy walks into his with his business partner and goes hey brah <laughs> found this book hey chat hey brah hey brah found this rare book about june it's gonna, what, be, like it's that gonna movie? be sick brah and we're gonna we're gonna make NFTs and sell the rights to this rare book that only has one copy, and we'll have the rights to the movie, brah. And they've all gone. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Don't see any problems there. No, no I think that sounds like a sound investment. Actually, yeah, you know? I am not gonna do any research. You had yeah, me exactly. at hey, you had me at hey, brah. Yeah, hey, brah. <laughs> yeah. And they've just they've all nobody's questioned it, and they've just gone. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's roughly how that's gone. I reckon. They were all blinded by his oiled biceps. Yeah, sure. Probably is. Why wouldn't you be? I, I would have thought. Yeah. yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's wild. It's absolutely wild. There is, I mean, I know we talked about NFTs a little bit the other day. Mm, we did. The other episode. But there is a an NFT uh, currency. No, wait, no, sorry. There is a cryptocurrency. Got to sure. get this right, sorry. We're a bit it's very important to get, get it There's right. There's a cryptocurrency yeah. based entirely, or maybe it is an NFT, or a type of NFT. Anyway, One but it's, it's based entirely upon an anime. Right. Like called Inuyusha. Oh, in, yeah. In Inuyasha? In yeah. My goodness. In Yasha. Yeah. Anyway, my point is, they have taken, like, a lossy JPEG of <laughs> a, a brand they don't own, yeah. and they've created an entire, like, cryptocurrency okay. based on this one lossy JPEG. This is a terrifying thing, though. I know. And, I, like, yeah, it's, I didn't think, like, being stupid could be scary, but actually, like... But, yeah. Sometimes you just meet the primal force of stupidity, and it, it is actually kind of terrifying. Yeah. Because, because I think what, we, what you're actually describing is NFTs, rather than a currency, I want to say. They're very closely linked. But that is the thing. Yeah. It's very hard to tell. But I think if you're taking JPEGs of something... Yeah. ...and then selling those The JPEG element would probably I have think to. might makes it an NFT. But... But, but what's stopping someone... Yeah. ...buying a copy of your hit comic, Afterlife Inc., yeah. And uh, <laughs> and scanning every single page of that, yeah. and then just putting them online as NFTs. I, well, that has happened, not to me. Yeah. But no, that exactly. has happened to people. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the scary thing is, is that like, so the creators of say Inuyasha, or whatever it is, are probably just completely oblivious to this. They're not even aware that yeah. these idiots probably are doing doesn't matter this. to them. But like, someone raised the question of like, you don't own the rights to this though, and they're just like, brah. But they bra, also, bra. but they were like, but bra, but they were kind of like, but no, though, because I made the NFT, but I made the NFT. And also they said they can't sue us because we're a conglomerate. Oh, God. Mm. This is the power, the power of stupidity. Because we are a collective of, we are a non, a collective of idiots. We have no leader <laughs> because we have no leader. We are okay. a non organized. There's no one to sue. Yeah. yeah. You can't sue anyone. No. Because this was the truth for the the June boys, yeah. which I'm going to call them the now. June the, the, boys. June boys. the June boys. The June boys. Normally yeah. spent their afternoons tanning on a June. Yeah. But now suddenly switched their portfolio like this by June. Nice. And they were a conglomerate as well. Yeah. They, they were like a gang of, of Chets <laughs> who just came together, well, glossed up. Interpretive dance. Yeah. Like clicking along. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> um, it's so stay funny, cool, isn't bra. it? <laughs> hey, brah. Hey, brah. Stay cool. Hey, it, bra. it must be so wild to have, like, all that money. Because you need real money to chase after this kind of fake well, they had money. Well, they had to buy it from You've the You've got to buy it, yeah. yeah. It's like... It's and like, they Imagine being in that auction house, right, and yeah. then going, yeah, we might get, like, 30k. Yeah. yeah. Hit- Ooh, fingers crossed. Hittance, you yeah. know, in the grand scheme And then scheme someone of things. turns up and goes, three million pounds. <laughs> Man alive! I mean, that's the thing. You own you own a copy of this book, and every all of your other peers who also own this book have sold it for twenty thirty yeah. grand. Yeah, and you're lucky enough to be the guy who sells it to the Chet. Yeah, and you're just looking at your hands like, oh. like oh, the Chetsons. I'm just imagining like Devil Boy just... like passing out in the, <laughs> yeah, in the exactly. auction room. Yeah, I'm so sorry. He has no idea how to pass. Yeah, <laughs> three million pounds sold. <laughs> sold, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wow. Yeah. I just, I, I can't roll that back far enough. Like, there's so many things you have to unpack. But there. they're doubling down. So, because, of course, everyone's gone for them on Twitter mm. and it's, like, highlighting all oh, of them. Did they, mistakes. like, sell their story then? Well. Or they broadcast their they, story? They just broadcast it on okay. Twitter, yeah. And now they respond to every comment of someone going, you know, like, dude, it's already out there. You don't own the rights, blah, 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 whatever. They just respond by going, you're just a troll. You're trying to harsh our ambition. We're going to go ahead with this. Yeah. We'll show you. And it's like, you won't. 
Troll is no. an overused term when people are being factual. I know. Yeah. There are times when you were just trolling me. No, I'm, yeah. not, I'm no, actually just saying no, the truth. I'm sorry though. <laughs> it is funny because, like, I I feel there will probably be some horrifying lawsuit. Yeah. There will there will probably come a point where mm. the 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 oh, mind, so, the God, reality so. bending worldview of these people will actually result in something collide with actual if they law. have the rights to it in their minds. Yeah. Why aren't they suing Warner Brothers? Yes. I know. That's, well, ex- because yes. it's proof that they don't understand anything yeah. that they're Genius. doing. Genius. That's go. such yeah, a good you, point. Yeah. Genius. You nailed it. Yeah, thank you. But it's like... Bruh. It's a, I thought that might be intelligent, but I said it. <laughs> no, it's... No, but... <laughs> thank you. No, that is so profound, because, yeah, if you genuinely... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of profound like that. <laughs> yeah. After a cow licked my balls, I guess yeah. I just became profound, yeah. yeah. So. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just... I feel... Sadly, there's probably going to be some lawsuit at some point where someone who just fundamentally doesn't understand copyright. Or if it's not this one, it'll be the next one. You know, this yeah. is not the first time we will hear this happen. Mm. Isn't I was going to say something stupid then? Isn't like? Oh, please do. Isn't quite a major character about to enter the public domain, like Winnie the Pooh? I'm really? going to say something oh, really? stupid. I haven't heard. I've not heard. That doesn't that. sound that stupid. If it isn't Winnie the Pooh, it's a character what on does, a on a kid on a level mean? with Winnie what does, the Pooh. Yeah, what does that what mean? Does exactly? mean? Yeah. Well, it means like you or I could make a Winnie the Pooh book, does it? And we could like publish it. Yeah. It might not be Winnie the Pooh, but a character like yeah, Winnie yeah, the Pooh. Yeah, it's yeah, like anyone can write a story about Dracula. Yes, Frankenstein. Yes, because they are so old that there's no copyright anymore. I understand, but. I've never fully understood this. If if that happened, can cannot the estate or owner or whatever just yeah. reactivate it, or is no. it really just that's no. it now? Well, so you meant- have you have one copyright for a set amount of time. Yeah, it's like seventy five right. years or something. Well, it's meant to, isn't it? Meant to, like the life of the author plus Some se- seventy five years. years or something. Oh, like that. okay. And it's changed a little bit over the years because it used to just be like the life of the author, and then it was like plus thirty years, right. and now it's like various groups have petitioned to have it extended right. i think disney have been a really big yeah because of, of course this. people want to keep yeah. their franchises because technically like the mickey Ma- mickey mouse should should be like public domain oh shit and then they like lobbied to have the law change unless his head actually is frozen well and well, so he's technically well, still alive, well, he's still technically still alive. Still alive. oh yeah yeah that would work that, yeah. that, that, i bet they invested a lot of money in cryotech yeah, yeah. to keep Walt disney technically alive. he can't hold a conversation but legally he is alive, he is alive. Yeah. yeah legally yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Legally, there's one hand and a, yeah. and a brain stem oh, God. <laughs> all he does is sign his name over and over and over again heart lungs liver and anus yeah <laughs> the big four that's all we're... <laughs> <laughs> the big four <laughs> um but yeah, but it's but it, that would be a really weird thing because it's like say uh, Batman fell into the public domain. Who? Oh yeah, you he's, might have heard he's of he's him. A popular. batted man. Yeah, a batted man. Okay, but that'd be kind of wild, wouldn't it? Yeah, anyone could make a Batman would. movie. And also, I mean, that's... we're not sick of Batman. Fuck. I mean, we're getting a new movie. I'm not getting. Who's new... excited? I, I'm not getting a new movie. No, I'm not. I'm not watching that. But what if, you know, there's a point where say, mm. Star Wars, sure, fell into the public domain. What? And then you could make a Star Wars movie if you want. You could make that Darth Maul movie you've been wanting to make. All yeah, your well, life. there's actually a very good. I'm not going to get into this. There's a very good <laughs> fan movie about Darth Maul that's on there on YouTube. On YouTube, and it's had like a hundred million views. It's actually really good. Ah. Um, is it acted with real people or is it? It's acted with real people. How many? Like yeah. you say, like actually, but I'm also picturing like air quotes around actually. So no, I it's all right. It, uh, and I, I. Um, uh, connected with the director, I did oh. an interview with him for a Star Wars website when I wrote for one very briefly. Mm. And we're still friends on Facebook. Oh, Sean, nice. Sean. Our friend Sean. Shout out to Sean, who lives in Germany. Well done ah. on your Red Man film. Good lad. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, no, it's a good film. It's very good. Um, no, well, I I can't think of anyone worse placed to make a Star Wars film than a Star Wars fan. That's probably that's true. true. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. But I t- I take the point you're making, which is that anything could be possible but, if the rights become open. But but the interesting thing is, you might say to yourself like. Oh well, because because copyright generally is kind of good. Like it it mm. protects us. As yeah, we as we rely like on it quite heavily. But there also does come a point where we are going to be dead. And well, when the... I'm dead, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't yeah. give a shit yeah. when I'm dead. How old were you when you realised that? Uh, <laughs> probably about six. Six. Right, right, yeah, six. Yeah. six to eight. Yeah. Uh, but my point is like. Now, you could say, like, say the copyright elapsed tomorrow on, say, Star Wars and became public domain. That would be mental. You'd probably think to yourself that, like, there are going to be a thousand Star Wars movies being made at once. Someone's you getting the might sack. Think that. If the copyright for Star Wars expires tomorrow, yeah, someone's no, getting someone the sack. Someone's in trouble. Yeah. But it could theoretically <laughs> Imagine happen. Imagine if they haven't been yeah. paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> you did renew that 
probably right on the whole Star Wars franchise, didn't you, Doom. Tim? And Tim just goes. Tim goes. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look straight at the camera. <laughs> yeah. But my point is, like, technically, Robin Hood is in the public domain. Mm. Yeah. And we do get a fair amount of Robin Hood movies. But it's not like a thousand a year. No. I think my point is, you do reach some kind of natural equilibrium. That's true. You but, get... but how crazy is it that, like, we're kind of in the golden age of IP at the moment, mm. which is maybe quite long, yeah. but is nowhere near as long as a lifetime of copyright. Yeah. So there's going to come a time, and it's going to be in about 170 odd years from now, where suddenly all of these IPs become, mm. let, let's say it's still possible legally, yeah. Yeah. suddenly become, what a weird time to be alive for stories at that you point. Are. That yeah. would be mental. And maybe but that would finally be the death of nostalgia. And maybe we'd actually have to come <laughs> up with new ideas. Because... Uh, re remember when nostalgia was a thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's the cleverest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very good. Well, on that note, I've got a hate. Go oh, on. go on. I hate, here we go again. Uh-oh. Just that phrase? Yeah. Okay. No, my point is, is there a lazier way to end a movie, comic, book than here we go again? <laughs> but that means, uh-oh. We watched... Uh, it's uh, actually something instead in Star Wars a lot. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. And at least they don't use it at the end of an iris out. You know, like... Uh, <laughs> see, C3PO says it at least a couple of times in the movies. Yeah. Does he? Here yeah. we go again. Yeah, yeah. He says it in Return of the Jedi, and I think... It's his first line, trilogy. isn't it? Um, in the, in, in, in the, everyone remembers the iconic moment where he walks out into the desert and goes, "Here we go again." No, you're, well, you're wrong. That's for two reasons. The yeah. first line is, um, "Did you hear that?" And it's on the starship. That's uh, and it's also it's also C three PO's last line of the franchise. It's not, is that the first spoken line? Mm. Ever in, hope. In, in what? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. What are you responding to? What's he referring uh, there's to? There's an explosion. Because the uh, Empire are invading the rebel the ship. ship. Yeah. You go, did you hear that? You're you're deep in the paint in the kind That's of That's a mad knowledge, by the way. In Thank Star you. Wars yeah. fandom. Has there been an anthology of books published, you know, like of a Star Wars fan fiction, it's called Did You Hear That or something like Probably. that? Probably. I've got I a bad feeling I, about this. Almost yeah, definitely. I've got a bad yeah. feeling about this is a fairly popular phrase. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if there was. No. But I don't know yeah. for sure. Is I've yeah. got a bad feeling about this in every film. Yep. The only time it's not spoken in English is when BB-8 says it in The Last Jedi. Wait, is that a thing? That's in every movie? Yeah. yeah. Everyone Even says, I knew that one. I got e a bad feeling Even the prequels? This. I yeah, yeah. watched oh. all the Star Wars movies fairly recently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you noticed, yeah. <laughs> and I looked out for it. And it's true. It's, it's, yeah. I'm the, only, sure. the only time it's not spoken in English is The Last Jedi, which is because BB-8 says it. I know you and you and McGregor says you it and McGregor. At one, says it at one point. Ewan McGregor in his weird kind of um, um, Obi Wan says it sort in, of yeah, in, in um, this is your Revenge of the weapon. Sith. Yeah. This is your father's weapon. He wanted you to have it. Yeah. I hate you. He was a good friend. He was a good friend. Yeah. yeah. So um, anyway, here we go again. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. I've... So we watched a classic example. Lucy and I watched a uh, Muppets Treasure Island. Ooh, Ooh what a treat! Which I've got to say is no Muppets Christmas Carol. Well, no. Which might be the most perfect movie ever made. I haven't seen Muppets Treasure Island since I was maybe eight ah. or six. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, or, or, or four. <laughs> what what knows, yeah. I don't know, but I've seen Muppets Christmas Carol recently, and yes, practically mm. a perfect film. Yes. Uh, Muppets Treasure Island is no Christmas Carol. Okay. Was, is... that, was that before or after? After. Christmas Carol, after. Yeah. In fact, oh. it was the last. It could be said the last Muppets movie okay. before they disappeared for like right. a decade or yeah, so. Yeah, the void years. When does their copyright run out? That's a really interesting question. Yeah. yeah. Look that up. I mean, Jim Henson when did, died yeah, when in did the Jim 90s. Henson die? Was it? Oh, so, so we've got, got a little while. Yeah. Well, yeah, all right. yeah. But um, that movie ends with Rizzo the Rat going, here we go again. Classic. It's very lazy. It's very lazy. Is yeah. My point. Because, because basically it's like, I don't know how to end this movie. So what we'll do is we'll have something happen that suggests it's all going to happen again. Yeah. And then we get a character to say as much. And then we fade to black. Yeah. And also it can be quite incongruous because like in that adventure, it, the basic premise is that like human boy <laughs> has has childhood friends, Gonzo the whatever, yeah. and Riz over Rat. Yeah, what the fuck is Gonzo? Like, literally, they've never gone on an adventure before. And then this one adventure happens, probably the defining point <laughs> in all their lives. Yeah, I, I mean, it... I haven't had one adventure yet. No, no, life. I've yet to have an adventure. No. I think if I did have one, I would probably wish to never have one again, yeah. probably. But then Rizzo Barak, at the end of this incredible, once-in-a-lifetime thing. White-knuckle ride. Where people have died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes like, 
Here we go again. No! What do you mean again? There's no trend. <laughs> Two data yeah. points is not a trend. You know? Yeah. It's, like being, it's like being shot. And then, and then, and then, and then someone's like in front of you with a gun and you just go, here we go Go again. again. (laughs) Yeah. It's exactly like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't welcome that if I'm honest. But it's like, you know, finds treasure map. Story mm. unfolds. The Gr- most, yeah, literally hijinks. the most astonishing thing that's ever happened in your workaday life. Yeah. yeah. People die, right? Yeah. You find gold, betrayed by father figure, you uh, know, loads of shit old, That old chestnut. Yeah. And then movie ends yeah. story resolves find another map mm. and then someone goes oh, oh here we go, we'll go it's like what it's, is happening to my life it's very presumptuous to assume that the next incredible encounter is going to play out much the same way as the first one yeah yeah like you don't know yet whether no. it's here we go you can't say here yeah. we go again until at least after the second one yeah and then you can say it retrospectively. I wish I'd said, it, yeah. here we go again at the beginning yeah. of this. Well, I'm, try- I'm trying to think. What's the closest my life has been to an adventure? Like, like... Uh, you shat your pelvis out in Peru? <laughs> when I shat my pelvis? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> like, literally. When my, um, my, uh, my... <laughs> when my thigh bones <laughs> kind of exploded out my anus on the <laughs> side of a road in Peru. Dust. That yeah. was an adventure. <laughs> and it's like, you know, when I've got my stomach cramps are so bad I can't walk. And, uh, and the following day when I'm just kind of like white-faced and shivering, but I'm finally past it, I don't see like, I don't know... Uh... <laughs> And then you see a plate of like bargain <laughs> shrimp in a supermarket <laughs> and you just pick up a fork and go, here, here we, we go, go again. again. <laughs> and, like, everyone's hanging off my arm. I try to hold it. <laughs> you don't, don't have it. it. Here we go again. Here we go. What are you doing? <laughs> trying to like force this, uh, this sweaty shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> I feel like if if I'd been through like a bad situation <laughs> mm. and then it looked like it was going to repeat itself, I wouldn't go, here we go again. I'd just be like, oh, for fuck's oh, sake. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus fuck this. this. But that, you... that, though, is kind of a, uh, an adult equivalent, isn't it? Yeah. We've had uh, grown-up movies. Mm. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, can't pick one off the top of my head, but you can imagine a Fast and the Furious film yeah. ending with someone going, I challenge you to a race. And someone just looks to the camera and just goes, oh, fuck. Yeah. And then it... <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, they do the same <laughs> wink and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's the grown up version of Here We Go Again. It's just, oh, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Credits. Yeah, and exactly. I want a star wipe. I want, like, I want a. I want a uh, car wipe. I want a car wipe. I want. I want the shape yeah. of a car. Just go boo, boo. turn to black. I want Vin Diesel. I got a feeling. <laughs> Comes off for the credits. <laughs> I want Vin Diesel to turn to the camera, and I want him to wink and smile and go ah oh, fuck. <laughs> and then I want the two D image yeah. to freeze frame, and then fold up yeah, into, like an a or- yeah. into an origami <laughs> car, car and yeah. drive away. <laughs> yes, yes. I love that. Yeah. Should I have think... a black IP Scott play. I got a feeling. Ironically, right? My wife can video edit. Yes, yeah, she can. She yeah. can probably do that. She yeah. can probably take the Fast and the Furious file, which is probably like two or three <laughs> megabytes or something. Yeah. And just download that. And then she could just add in origami car wipes yeah. between every scene Brilliant. and then the end. That'd be excellent. It would make it incredible. And it would increase it from three megabytes to six. Yeah. So yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. fuck. <laughs> Oh god! But then it's true, though, isn't it? There, there have been more grown-up movies where it's in the "Here We Go Again" line is inferred mm. by "Oh shit," you know, because it oh, looks like shit. it's kind of happening yeah. again. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. How I many agree. Fast and Furious is, is have you seen? Uh, I think I've only seen the first three. I've seen up <laughs> to a Tokyo lot. Drift. It's quite a claim. The original yeah. trilogy. I've definitely seen one and three because I can remember those. It's I like, don't know if I've seen two. How I think many? I've seen the first one. I watched it with my cousin when it first came out. Jesus Christ. And I was probably... How old were you? Eight, eight or That's ten. like 1974? Was that like... Roughly, yeah, I think Roughly so, 1974. Yeah. Before yeah. I was born. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. Vince Diesel had a had yeah, an afro. Vincent Diesel. Yeah. He was he was he was Vince unleaded. <laughs> That's strong. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good actually. Yeah. So like, yeah, God, how many how many have there been? I think there's nine. No, including the spin-off, there's nine. Hobbs and the Shaw. Spin off, the spin-off where they're superheroes. There's definitely Fast and the Furious eight, and I know there's Hobbs and Shaw, which oh means there's God. at least so there's, nine. There's, there's Fast and Furious films that have just got like a subtitle. Yeah. And then the numbered versions. Yeah. But then there's so there the could be Fast more. and the Furious. The is Fast that, and the Furious. Is that number nine? Uh, well, okay, let's break it down. It was fa- The Fast and the Furious. No, it's just Fast. No, that was the first one. Well, oh, sorry. Okay. The Fast and the right, Furious. Go the back to it. One. Fast and the Furious. The Fast okay. and the Furious. Second one was... Fast, too Fast. Too Fast, Too Furious. Too yeah. Fast, Three Furious. Then it was... Tokyo Drift. So was that Fast... The Fast and the Furious. 
Tokyo Drift. But three. was that number three? Was that number three? Yes. That was. Yeah. It was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then, but I know what the fifth one was. So what was the fourth one? Fifth one was Fast Five, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So it was four <laughs> like the Fast and the Furious four. No, it was Fast and the Furious. <laughs> I think. Okay. Then Fast Five. Yeah. Then was it the Fast? The and Fast. And no, Fast yeah. and Furious. They dropped the thes. Yeah, they? they did at one. And that point, was six, yeah. was it? Fast Maybe. and Furious film series. Here we go. Okay, break it down. Okay. Break it down. Break it down. While we're talking. Right. Jesus Christ. When you're ready. And apparently Vin Diesel is the only person who's been in okay. all of them. Films. Are you ready? Okay. I no. Yeah. Okay. So we've got The Fast and the Furious 2001. Wow. There you go. Before I was born. Too Fast, Too Furious 2003. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift 2006. Fast and Furious 2009. So that was oh four. God, wow. That was four. Okay. Fast Five 2011. Fast and Furious Six 2013. Furious Seven. Oh, that's it. So you've got one that's called Fast yeah. Five and one that's called <laughs> Furious Seven. Seven. That's brilliant. Uh, 2015, The Fate of the Furious. Ah, oh, which, which is eight. eight. Yeah. Which is eight. 2017, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. 2019, and then they've lost words altogether, and it's called F9. Oh. One that came out last year. F9. One came out last year. F9. Wow. It's about family. And then there's... So, we have, so there's actually ten of them. Because if you include Hobbs and Shaw, that's ten movies. Wait, no. Eight. Nine, yeah. Ten. Ten movies. Jesus. One of them being a spin-off. What time to be alive. What, the, but the numbering system and the subtitling is all over the place. Yeah. That is all over the place. The idea that you have Fast Five and Furious Seven is and then And then just F9. When is... When, the next one's just going to be... <laughs> when is... <laughs> when, it, when is the Fast and the Furious going to be in the public domain? That's what I want to know. Very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, they're all CGI at this point. <laughs> Uh, the Fast and the Furious as a phrase has lost all meaning because when when I hear the Fast and the were Furious, were they particularly furious? I don't, were they angry? I don't know. Were they angry? Well, because felt like two thousand and one was a very different period. Like maybe if I watched that movie now, I would get the quintessential aspects of being fast and furious in a movie, and I would go, "Yeah, that was a good that was a good title." They the really thing nailed is, it. Yeah. I think the first movie is about street racing. It's like guys and it's cars. It's like an FBI racing. agent has to infiltrate a street a... racing gang. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Point Break, but with cars. And then it ends with kind of winning him over, kind of, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. sure. And it's like, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. And then and then they gradually lost their grip on reality. There's a, there's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a line. There's a line on a graph mm. that starts with, was it Paul Walker? Was sure. It? Yeah. Yeah. Infiltrating a street racing gang. Which and is a story. And then at some point <laughs> along that line, we have the rock. Le uh, kicking, kicking, a a, kicking a <laughs> kicking an intercontinental ballistic missile um, from a car opens the car door <laughs> while speeding across a glacier and kicks then, a like, missile Idris Elba is also like a genetically enhanced humanoid apparently so yeah so that's just this in the same universe yeah, yeah. cop infiltrates gang man <laughs> kicks nuke away from humanoid yes same thing yeah yeah there's also a submarine and a and that like, might be the same scene. And cars jumping out of planes with parachutes. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Because I remember when I went to see The Amazing Spider-Man, mm. there was like a 15-minute featurette God. about really? the Fast 6, whatever the fuck it was. That's a shame. Which came beforehand. And there is a scene where they are racing along a glacier, being chased by a submarine, yeah. which is like erupting out of the ice. <laughs> <laughs> and it fires a torpedo. Oh, God. And of course, because it's above water, the torpedo... Is just going through yeah. the air. Then it hits the ice, and this torpedo is like so sliding skittering. along the ice. And they're racing alongside this <laughs> torpedo. And, but, and as you said, the rock opens the door of the car, <laughs> leans out, and kicks, with a muscular leg, and kicks, kicks a the missile. Torpedo. <laughs> Thing is, that must that must do it for some people. Oh, some people. Are like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like action's never particularly done it for me. I, you know, I don't watch movies for like. I think, oh, that was such great action. I prefer like a good story. Yeah, which mm. I think we all probably agree on that. But well, for obviously for some people, <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I, I I really like a good action scene. Like, sure. I mean, I thought because Ma Mad Max Fury Road is just an yeah. action scene, and I love that film. <laughs> I thought Shang Chi had a really good action scene. For example, yeah, that's no, just it, did. Example. it did. It did. It did. Um, but I don't. I, yeah, on the bus. Yeah. I don't often think that though. Watching movies, I don't right. think, oh, what great action! I just Ugh. enjoy like I enjoy the ride and the story and whatever. Yeah. But obviously, for some people, kicking a nuke just does it for them. D that, well, there's obviously an audience for that. I mean, they're already battling down an erection halfway through the film yeah. anyway. I've, well, Fast and Furious just sounds like a terrible wang, doesn't it? <laughs> Ultimately, <laughs> I've never got to the point where I can lose myself 
in in the Fast and the Furious. You no. know what I mean? No, 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 no. I, well, no, no, I, I, I don't I, think I they're intended doubt. for that, though. To no. be fair to them, I don't know why I'm defending. But people can like I, this is like the classic like people go like, oh yeah, just turn your brain off and enjoy it. Yeah, and I get that. Like the Fast and Furious has kind of passed through this stupid window where it's almost come back around into high art. Yeah. Like <laughs> they're, they're almost Maybe. like completely aware of what they're doing, and it's. I've watched. I think they. Of... I, know, I think I think they really oh, are. Very they know what they're doing. Now. Yeah. yeah, but but I I have like people. I kind of you know there's a time where it's like oh, people would love the Fast and the Furious, and it was like oh yeah man it's fucking awesome and I'm like no it's not it's sad no. but then it's gone through this whole arc. This whole the, the franchise has gone through a whole arc mm. where now. Like intellectuals are like, it's cool. oh yes, it's, me- it's 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 yeah. it's yeah, you know, meta. It's kind of it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. But if anything stays around long enough, it becomes it's, art. It becomes art, and it's it's people appreciate it for what it is rather than what it isn't. I think that's probably fair. Another very profound thing that you said there. Thank you. He's really on fire. Today, I'm full of them. Today. Yeah. I think retrospect helps us see something in its proper context. Wow, that sounded wow. Really good. Oh, wait, yeah, that was good, wasn't it? Someone write that down. Uh, no, uh, no. That's just I've, I've already forgot what it said. <laughs> all I've written down so far so is I. all I've written down so far is Vin unleaded. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's the uh, episode title. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's got love? Go on then. Mine's sort of another local one. Oh, here we go. Okay, local love. A local love because I was ranting about our local area just now. Uh, might, I don't so let's remember. pull it you back. Might, you might remember. I've You're ranting to, about Cool Town. We've got a lovely, it. lovely, well-known international brewery on our doorstep, and it's fantastic. Mm. The tap room uh, we've been to together, and I think it was on our Instagram at one point. Yes, the Daya yeah. Tap Room. It's very. good I was there last weekend. We're so lucky to have that. We are. Just that beer that that people. You know, I know a lot of people who live in London, and they it's their favourite beer. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah, wow! Yeah, massively. Um, and they, they, they're because they're, they're coming down beer. to watch Cheltenham Gillingham with me over the Easter weekend, um, and they they can't wait to go to Daya. Really, We're, we have that on our doorstep. Yeah. We should go more. It is nice. I love actually. it. I think it's such a nice atmosphere and a nice bar there as well. You get guest food and guest food vans. You do, and a nice outdoor area. But it's got this great indoor area that's like in the sort of like factory floor. Yeah, almost, yeah. Isn't it? And like, as you rightly pointed out, the great thing about being next to the heavy industry is that I'm just waiting for that moment where something goes drastically oh, yeah. wrong. <laughs> the tidal wave <laughs> the thing of is, they're either for show or it's going to explode yeah, at some yeah. point. Oh my yeah. god. Are you saying it's like a sham warehouse and, a, and the actual one is around the corner? Could be. Or in London. <laughs> or in London, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but oh man, it's just like, we're so lucky to have that there with it all on tap and then you've got the fridge room where you can take beers away with you. Yeah. You've got the merch on the wall. Yeah. And a load of people would just be so... This is like your Disneyland, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. And the beer's <laughs> so Beerland. nice as well. That you, you often good. find yourself leaving with some and I did last weekend. It's very classy, yeah. Yeah, and it's just, I think we're so lucky to have a place like that and you gave walking me, distance from our house and kind of by way of payment for helping you concrete the side of your house you gave me a can i gave you a can well i bought you a very special can it was very treat. nice yeah um i enjoyed it i was there last friday and i bought i said i'm gonna get john a beer because he's helping me out tomorrow so i bought you a beer home i've got a couple as it was well very nice yeah. yeah yeah um but it's it's too tempting to not leave with beers once you've had a couple there because mm. they've got this whole fridge room that you can just say oh, i'll take some cans with me and they're like that's fine. Just don't drink them um, on the road. On the, on the premises that you might get us in trouble. I'm like, oh, that's fine. And then you just get off the premises and then drink them. I'm never sure. Like, like I know when I was in Canada, it mm. is a crime question mark to be drinking beer on the street. Yeah, I think it's a very minor crime. I think yeah. it is technically yeah. a crime. Yeah. yeah, I think you might get an asbo if you're unlucky. <laughs> asbo. Yeah. I think I think a policeman would likely say nothing, and if they did say anything, it would be like, can you throw that in the bin? Could yeah. you pour that You'd have to be particularly unlucky to get anything criminally done to you. Criminal. Mm. But I would recommend anyone who's ever in Cheltenham, and it's right by the train station, do go there. Mm. We are kind of spoiled. Aren't we, we really are. We have a lot of good eateries as well. Yeah. Like, we, we are. We, we're pretty lucky, actually. I think. It's kind of wild, isn't it? Because I don't think anybody would intentionally go to Cheltenham. You know well, what I, I mean? Did. Well, yeah, you did. Well, yeah, people do. Yeah. People do for the races. Yeah. You did. No one's sensible. <laughs> people do for the races, but I don't think that many people are aware that Daya is based in Cheltenham. No, I don't think relative so. Relative to the the amount of people who like it. Well, no, for me, I'm just like, oh, Daya's the local yeah. brewery. I don't really think of it as being having this reputation. Oh, it's as being it's like... an international really? known brand. Wow. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm but yeah, a lot of my a lot of my friends from further afield swear by it. It's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, again, I do feel we're kind of spoiled because it's like Cheltenham's this weird place where, like, there's no real reason 
to come here. You know what I mean? Like, no, I know what you mean. There's no one thing that makes, apart from races. Yeah, but it's not a consistent year-round tourist attraction. No, but no. it's like, and yet we're kind of like B-grade at everything to yeah. the point where we actually come across as being actually really good. But I think that's better than most, <laughs> yeah. in a way. Like, yeah. being being B-grade at everything, yeah. that's pretty good, yeah. actually. At least yeah. you're consistent. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, we, we know what to expect. Consistent yeah. in our averageness. It's a really good place to be if you're, like, a bougie, kind of, like, mid-30s kind of person. Mm. Where Which you're we just, are. Yeah, just like, <laughs> we I, are the demographic. I like watching movies and eating. Yeah. And it's, uh, this is the bougiest podcast yeah. I've ever listened to. Yeah. And I don't so listen to it. so classy now. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're so all classy. Well, you see, we started out as, like, the plucky underdogs, and now we're all homeowners. Yeah, yeah that's we're, quite co- we're quite cocky now. Yeah, we are. You, you, yeah. you work near a cow. I mean, <laughs> I know, I mean. <laughs> but, but not that cow. <laughs> if you could go back in time and tell your young self that one day you'll be working yeah. in proximity if to If I could go cow. back like two years and say, you'll be working where I'm now working, I'd have been like, wow, said, that's cool. You'd have said, yeah. oh my God, who are you? Yeah. Get out of my house. You, been... you look so haggard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why have you gained you? so much weight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I would. Uh, I that's my love because I love going there. We should go there more, and I would encourage anyone who comes to Cheltenham to go there. Yeah, give us a call, mm. and we'll take. Give you us a call. We'll come down. We'll come down. Yeah. And it's like it's on a, a kind of uh, it's on industrial. A, yeah, it's on like a commercial park. Yeah, like, place you'd yeah. expect a brewery. To yeah, be. there's a wine bar there as well now. Yeah, I've been in there actually, oh. but because I go to Daya. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's good down there. Not and yeah, as I say, unless you know it's there, you wouldn't know. Sort of thing. fun fact. Oh, oh. Um, the house we're currently recording this in. Your house? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. I had my first viewing of this house. Yeah. The day before mm. my first ever visit to the Dea Brewery with you, Chris Ray. When oh. was that? When did we go? Uh, uh, well, we're kind of talking like 2017. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I do remember. And I remember. That was a different. Yes, it was building. different. Yes, they've, they've, yeah. they've expanded. Uh-huh. Same, it same was around the, It was around, on the same industrial part, but around the corner. Same escape, around the corner. And it's I remember bigger. viewing this house. We got that, wasted. Yes, well, it's, it's what I'm saying. The house I'm currently living in, uh, the house I love dearly, mm. I first viewed monstrously hungover. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got really drunk. Yeah. yeah, I was quite quite drunk, actually. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was good. Was I good wanted to die. It was, yeah. but it, but something good came out of it. It's all this place. Don't drink too much because it's quite strong. The beer. It is oh yeah, it will, me, it will mess you up. You don't yeah. need to either. Good no. flavors though. Yeah, very mm. nice. Delightful. Well, I've got a love. It's not. It's not quite as wholesome. Okay. And and, uh, <laughs> and drink drink loads of alcohol. It's <laughs> not quite as wholesome as that. Drink. Oh um, god. No. Um, have you heard of the card game Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Okay. okay Look who wow. you're talking to. Roll it yeah. back. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Sorry. Card Ca- game. Card <laughs> game. Yeah. Card games. Card Is that game. something I can play in the crowd at my favourite football game? Yes, but you will get eviscerated. <laughs> <laughs> play past the pigs at football once. Oh, well, okay. Maybe, there you, go. maybe you wouldn't then. True. Um, the, uh, card games are games where you, you collect cards... And then you can play a game with them. I understand. Yeah, so you, you buy a pack of cards, like the, don't know what you're going to get. The Jack of Diamonds. Imagine buying football stickers. Yeah. But but then you could play a game with your football stickers. And they're not stickers. And they're not stickers, they're instead but cardboard. Imagine okay. if you're... Right, I'm with you so far. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I might lose you soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the way, I think. I was going to make a joke about a 90s footballer, but I couldn't remember his name. I was going to say David <laughs> Schwimmer. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ross from Friday. Yeah. No. <laughs> who are you thinking of? The guy who had a pony sale. Uh, well, it... Not the keeper for. Well, I think you're thinking of Ginola. No, I'm not. No, no, he's. Uh, I think oh, I know who you're thinking of. Seaman. David Seaman. David yeah. Seaman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not. It's a bit David like Schwimmer. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So imagine it's if. Also an S. Imagine if um you'd uh, you got a shiny David Seaman sticker. Okay. Yeah. And he had both an attack star, a defense <laughs> star, and uh, a kind of magic well, wait, star. That's like top trumps. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And but then also imagine, magic. imagine when you pulled, uh, you opened the pack, and you got David Seaman, yeah. and you're like. Yes, and this would form the the linchpin of your attack strategy for okay. your for your football deck that you were building. Very right, good. yeah. And and so now I like you... that we're dubbing this down for me. <laughs> or dubbing it up. Or okay. designing yeah. the best game ever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. football strategy game. Football, I don't know. football stars. With Battle ball. Um, so it's that principle, except okay. that imagine instead of David Seaman, it's just some bullshit uh, wizard. Right. And it's just called <laughs> Bullshit Wizards. Bullshit Wizards. <laughs> called Seaman Wizard. Yeah. yeah. It's called Seaman Wizard. Okay. It's, it's bad. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of these card games, right? Okay. Collectible card games that, and people play like national competitions of nice. these games. Like right? a Pokemon card. You yeah. know a Pokemon yeah. card. Yeah. I know Pokemon. So there's like, other people used to steal their lunch money from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's two halves to the game. There's the building of your deck and then there's okay. the playing of your deck against other people's decks. I see. Right. So there's one game called Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. How are we spelling that? Y-U-G-I-O-H. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it's Japanese. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Three works. Three, yeah. And it's it's one of the most popular card games. Sure. Right, and it's played by a lot of people all over the world. I understand. And John and I have tried to play it before, and it's practically incomprehensible. Baffling. <laughs> Absolutely baffling. Yeah. And we like card games. Okay. Yeah. And we've designed one, uh, and I don't, I can't. I, I, is it is it because it's so involved? I or think because it's just terrible. But I, I it yeah. doesn't want you to enjoy it and okay. actively hates you. I mean, it it, cool. <laughs> it can't be bad because loads of people love it. Yeah. But equally, I think it's bad. <laughs> so many, so many people can't be wrong, Nick. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's the children who are wrong. Anyway, there are national tournaments of Yu-Gi-Oh. Good. Right. Thousands of kids, mostly kids, yeah. but some adults. There are probably actually more adults than kids thinking yeah. about it. Man, children gather together to play. Yes gather together yeah. to play this game and then then there's you know tournament league kind of thing and then there'll be a winner and he'll get like a cash prize and a trophy right and good the cash, money yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. like a hundred grand for, yeah, for sure. winning good yeah. money M- maybe big, more big money yeah Who, big, is big there money. a well known company that makes this game yes it's a video game company uh, called okay. Konami I know oh, I was going to say Konami yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, know, I know that yeah, yeah Konami yeah, I didn't know, so. I didn't yeah, know yeah. it's Konami um, at least now, now I'm doubting myself. But okay, I'm pretty no, sure I'll it is. Believe I, anything you say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, at this point, who's why not? Who, who yeah. knows? No one's checking. They can, they can claim it. No one's fact checking. Yeah. Um, and my love is that in the tournament rules for Yu-Gi-Oh, there is a rule, and it's very long. This document, mm. lots of rules to read. There is a rule that states you must have showered <laughs> before really? you enter a what Yu-Gi-Oh the? tournament. Yeah. What in your life? But before, <laughs> but, well, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> what? There is an official rule that states okay. that you have to have had a shower mm. before you come to a tournament. And the thing is that that speaks volumes to me yeah. <laughs> about the state of the game before they had to add that rule. Yeah. Because... Is that just for tournaments? Or is what? that just generally? <laughs> if you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. you better be clean. you got to have a shower. <laughs> okay, wait. When did... When, roughly, when do you think Yu-Gi-Oh exploded... Onto the into the world. When, I feel like I should know, but I, it might be the very, very late nineties. Okay, or, very yeah. late nineties. Okay, so rules go through revisions. Yes. So what you're saying is, there's been twenty years of maybe competitive play. In I'd this say game. probably yeah. Mm. At what starting from year zero? At what point did the shower rule come in? Is, is my um, question. <laughs> I think it wasn't for a good like ten years. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was a there was a dark period, and then I think there was the what they call the stink the stank period. So how did you, how did you find out about this? Um, I watched a YouTube video. YouTube has recently decided Nick likes Yu-Gi-Oh, which I don't. Sure. Um, but I like other card games, mm. and I've been watching content from other card games, and I think YouTube has They've been targeted. Like, you Nick likes Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Uh, and I don't. And um, and yeah, so I saw this video, and it was like the ten weirdest facts about Yu-Gi-Oh or something to that mm. effect. And so, and I watched it, and that was one of the weird facts. And another one of the facts, which I think is related to this one, is the fact that there's a card in Yu-Gi-Oh, which you can play, and it it basically says, um, uh, "Put your hand out and offer a handshake to the opponent player." Bo- bony if you showered. Well, this is uh, this is why I think the shower rule came in, yeah. because you couldn't vouch for how dirty the other sure. opponent was. And there's a rule in the game that allows you to physically touch that person. This is like a pre-COVID world as well. Massively, yeah. massively. Yeah. And they've done away with this actual need yeah. to physically handshake now. But the idea of the rule is you play the card and then you put your hand out to shake. And if they accept, you both get a bonus. But if Fuck they de- me, this already sounds so complicated. If they decline... You don't. No, neither of you gets anything. So the right. idea is, you know, are they willing to meet you halfway on this and maybe both benefit? Jeez, kind of it's a real gross. prisoner's dilemma, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm, especially if they haven't washed for an extensive period. Yeah. Of time. You know, like that one card where you play it and it's like you have to spit in the open mouth of the other player, <laughs> and they have to thank they you, have to... <laughs> and they have to say thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. <laughs> oh, God. Without swallowing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I think that gives you a kind of idea about Yu-Gi-Oh's weird yeah. rules and shit. But yeah. Um, but yeah, so apparently there was a, a story about a guy who uh, who played that handshake card. Yeah. But his um, but the, he he played it and he just had his hand down his pants the whole game, what? just like just in his pants. That's tactical though, isn't it? And then he played the card. Yeah, that's tactical. And I think there was a tactical aspect yeah. to it. And I think like the rule came in almost to be like <laughs> you're saying no. you're saying he built. An entire mechanic in his deck that hinged upon the idea that his hand would be so soupy. <laughs> yeah. Nobody would accept that handshake. Yeah. And in some way that would benefit him. I it, accept that as a premise. Because it's one thing to have a really soupy hand. Oh, yeah. And then you just go and shake and you don't know. And then you're like, ooh. 
and then it's too late. But so to boldly... He's mm. got to present it. Yeah. He's got to peacock it, is what I'm saying. You've yeah. got to know it's because there. Because his whole deck hinges around the idea that they won't accept this handshake. Yeah. So he needs to make sure they know that his hand is in inside his groinal region. Jesus yeah. Christ. I would probably still shake his hand, because then I would, <laughs> I would think... I would... Me, personally, I would think, oh, he doesn't want me to shake his, his hand, so I will. His whole strategy yeah, but then, I mean, what am I going to get from that? Yeah, I mean, nothing. Well, a soupy hand. Just don't. I might, I might, I might throw up afterwards. But yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, what if you shake his hand? You know, squitchy squitch, and then you're just like, okay, I'll just remember not to think too much about that, and then yeah. you just, you know, rub your mouth because you're, you're making your decision for your next. Move. This is like a, this I could a cut that hand off. world. Is there yeah. any rules that say I can't slice my hand off? There's afterwards. a card for that, so that's There's fine. A card yeah. for that. Just put that. Bearing in, your in mind, yeah. this is like 2009. At a time in our lives where I was just licking my hands constantly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I didn't know any better at that point. You no, know, delicious. We were I so unaware. Cough on my hand and then just, you know, lick it. Yeah. Slap someone else in the eyeballs. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They yeah. thanked me for it. Yeah. <laughs> why wouldn't they? And nobody got ill. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine Incredible. that. Yeah. I don't know why everyone's so worried about. Yeah. Um, well, that's wild. Yeah. So there you go. You can take that bit of trivia away with you. Excellent. Yeah. You. What was it? Just try. You. Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Did it. Nice hey. Yeah. Got it. One Yu-Gi-Oh. of us. One of us. Yeah. Actually, no, I don't know him that. No. <laughs> it's baffling. No. no really baffling. Yeah. No. Well, that sounds complicated to me. Even. You told me one rule out of what I assume are dozens. It's way more complicated than yeah. that. Yeah. Way more complicated so, than yeah, that. Yeah, I, I think that'll be too much for me. Yeah. As a simple man. Okay. I've got a love. Go on. Take us home. Well, you know, I'm a simple man. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't ask for much for much we're in both, life. Both you know, uh, we love to cut a square hole. I, lo- I love to cut a square hole. Yeah. yeah. I love... Um, Put round uh, things in it. I love <laughs> a, a kind of fine, uh, a fine beer. Yeah, you know, you but not too fine. No, you know, oh, no. I like a kind of down homey kind of yeah. uh, peasant beer. Yes, <laughs> right amount of funk. And uh, I enjoy, I love a morning run. Oh, oh there here we go. go. Yeah, yeah. That's become a new thing. You were telling me about this. Um, well, not now. Obviously. Well, I. Well, he is telling you. About I. It He's telling you about it now. I yeah, blame. Yeah. Well, I think I blame Nick Angel. Yeah, Hello, I would because on New Year's Eve. We were around your house, Chris Ray. Oh, yes. And we were drinking. We were having a good time. But to be fair, in a very middle-aged way, where we weren't, like, getting wasted. We were just no. kind of... No, we were very relaxed, I felt. Yeah. Years, very you know, sure, very we're all, civilized. We're all quite tired all the time nowadays, because we're old. Well, I'm amazed. We went till about half one, New Year's Eve. That, that was, was pretty impressive. impressive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And a decision was made at that night mm. to uh, run 5K the following morning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ali and I already were, were going to, yes, yeah. because we had signed up to a half marathon, and we decided to announce that to you guys you did. at this New Year's yes, thing. You did, yeah. And the response to that was an overwhelming. I kind of fancy that, and we were like, "Bah, yeah," but yeah. also cool, yeah. And, and so I, not having run in uh, over ten years, yeah, was like, "Why not?" Yeah. And then we all, well, we did it. We did the following morning. Yeah. We did. We we hadn't had much sleep. We'd been drinking. Yeah. Um, but the reason we did it was because Ali and I had signed up to the half marathon and we were like, we can't miss the first park run of 2022. You've got to. In the year that we're saying we're going to commit to a training schedule, we can't miss the first one. Regardless of the fact it's New Year's Day, we feel like shit. We can't. If we're going to commit to this. We mustn't. This is the linchpin. Yeah. Yeah. And and we all agreed, I think, to some extent. And that first run was horrible. It was. And I I couldn't walk for like four days afterwards. No, me neither. But, But, however, it awoken... It awoke a dark passion within me. Yeah, yeah. and I've more started, so than it did me. <laughs> and I've started. Uh, well, the thing is, I've started running. You have. Yeah, and we do the park run quite regularly now. All of us. We're yeah. all park runners now. We you are. up in your in your lycra, your blue. blue yeah. Streak. Well, I just bought new trainers this week. Oh, nice for running. Because I've been go. turning up in my slorps. So um, <laughs> in my sketches, you look quite professional. You got your got look your, quite professional. Got your yeah. pants on. Got your yeah. Got yeah your, I got all that. Like yeah, I do need to buy some more gear because that is literally the only running outfit I have. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. But yes, I'm enjoying it as well. If I'm honest. So yeah. off the back of that, off the back of the fact that we were running 5k every Saturday, all three of us. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I and Ali. I was like, I want to, uh, I want to, I want to, I want to push myself. Yeah. So for two weeks now, I've been running, getting out of bed, mm-hmm. and I've been running. That's a my- start. Leaping out of bed. That is a good start. Wow! Yeah. Running a mile. Yeah. And then starting my day. That's good. That is good. And it is... Good habit. Delightful. Yeah. To the point where I kind of look forward to it. Yeah. Do you? And I think something's wrong with me. Are you going to do it tomorrow morning? Yeah. Are you looking forward to it now? I am. Yeah. There yeah. Go. Maybe there is something wrong with you. To the point where it's like, <laughs> it feels good mm. in like a kind of... Good endorphins. 
Yeah. There's yeah. some science behind I that. I weren't getting addicted to it. I had one day off. I was like, I want to do it. There's worse things you can be addicted to. I was like, I want to do it every day. Yeah. Because like... I wouldn't do it every day. Well, I did like six days a week mm. and had one day off where I was yeah. like, I'm going to give myself a little break. Mm. And that day I missed it. Really? That's, yeah. that's fine, but you don't want to like hurt yourself. You don't want to well, break that is the though. danger because I'm not... I'm, I'm not suggesting you will. I, I'm, I'm not 21 anymore. No. And that's the last time I ran properly. Yeah. And I did a half marathon and then I quit. Which mm. is very I, I have a run sinks. Well, thank you. Yeah. But like, I didn't have much going on in my life then. I could run a lot. <laughs> Because, you know, didn't have a girlfriend, didn't have any prospects, you know, whatever. I don't Nobody know. does at 21. <laughs> but, like, I'm really enjoying it. And it's mm. nice to not, it's nice to not feel like I'm over the hill. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, after last... it's, it's a nice feeling to, like, improve as well. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I've been running independently a part run as well. I've downloaded Strava. Oh, love it. And love I've, been running, I've been just running, going out. I, I was going to, I'll just go for a little run. And I, I started out doing a mile, which is just, like, down the road and back, essentially. Yeah. And I'm now comfortably doing three and a half K yeah, kilometers, smashing it, yeah. Mm. which is cool. It's, yeah. real, it's, it's nice to feel the improvement. It's I'm doing the park run every Saturday morning and then I'm doing one or two runs yeah. in the intervening mm. week of about 2K. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you're right. The, the not being over the hill feeling, you know, mm. the feeling that I'd sort of written my body off. I know. Yeah. I know. I was like, and then oh, suddenly just, I was like, I'm done. I can run a 5K every week. That's actually something. That's good. Yeah. That's actually, I mean, I'm knackered. At Better the end than out. Exactly. Better than now. No? And it's also like, you know, for seven, seven and a half minutes, you know, yeah. I can spend, I can spend that in the morning. Seven and a half minutes in heaven. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I lost weight as well. Yeah. Lost nine pounds. Ooh. Nice. Since we did our live show. Nearly a tenner. Really? Mm. Jesus. That's awesome. Yeah. Big time. Are you okay? <laughs> here he comes. Here he comes now. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, we've been, we've been eating better as well, which mm. has been nice because mm. we just eat shit. Like you get to that point where you just get lazy and you just need to consciously break yourself out of that. Well, it's, it's the pressure of daily living, isn't it? It just it yeah. gets you after a while. Mm. But the running, uh, smaller portions, better foods, better foods during the day. Good less, stuff. Less yeah. potato faces. But also like, you know, two years. <laughs> two years. Not be- none. <laughs> <laughs> just less. But also like, you know, two years uh, being at home, you know, kind of sitting at my desk. Like my hips and my lower back just hurt all the time. Yeah. Like constantly. Yeah, yeah. You know, everything hurt. And I was like, I guess this is my life now. Until I die, I'm just going to be in pain, like yeah. all the time. And then suddenly. But I've been running for like a month now. Yeah. And it's like, I hurt in completely nude ways. <laughs> but it's great. You know what I mean? It's like, a variety. I hurt because I know, because I've been running. Yeah. yeah. It's not. And, and the, the regular pain, which came from sitting, has gone. Yeah. yeah. I don't get that. Because you're active now. I, I, I hurt. I'm tired because I'm moving my body. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm really tired because of all this running. <laughs> I'm really tired. But it's tired in a good way, though. But yeah, it feels good. But tired I am tired, though. Yeah. No, it's true. My but back, again, you'll my get back all looks used really to it. good as well. Your back looks good. Yeah, weirdly, all the weight's falling off my back. Oh, okay. That's, That's why I'm sitting up straighter. Okay, so you're saying you have a very muscular, toned, back. formed back, is what you're saying. You've got like a six pack. I'm, say, I'm suggesting I probably had a quite a fat back before. Have you got a six pack? Very good. That's good, isn't it? Very good. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's good. But no, if we can, and it's a cliche, I appreciate that. If we can do it... Oh, 100%. You can do it. Listener. Listener. Come on I'm down. I'm leaning forwards to the microphone. To the fitness tent. No, but that's true. I, no. think, I think we're three ordinary guys. Yeah. Who like a beer and some potato smileys. Absolutely. And all that. And we're running 5k every week. Exactly. Because we can. And I want to say... And also... And so can you. I think I should say, it's, it's also... It's not about being the fastest. No. Or the I strongest. couldn't give a shit about no. that. No. And honestly, I will say, it's not even about how long you run or where you go or even if you're running i think it's just about like knowing knowing your body and trusting it and yeah, um, yeah. going like i like you body i'm here with you yeah we're in this together and doing a little bit but doing it for you and then, yeah. and then going you god, good god what's that on you body yeah. yeah and then you figure it out and it's like a piece of chocolate yeah and that's a, that's cool. or a horrible growth yeah. or it, one or the other yeah it's never, never it's never in between never is it's one or the other so what i'm saying is i i i've become uh worryingly addicted yeah. to those cold that initial rush. It's a great yeah. way to start the day. Mm. There you go. Mm. Do Good it. Tip. And I imagine if if I had the sea, you know, you get those people who go like, every morning I go and I jump in the sea. Yeah. And I swim in the sea every morning. Yeah. I feel like I've opened the door a crack to this kind of worrying behavior where if I had like a large body of water to hand, I'd you probably, might just jump in. I might just jump in. There's yeah. a lake near by. <laughs> you, yeah. you got to drive. The reservoir. Could you run right there? Yeah, that's what I'm talking where about. Where all the drinking water is. Yeah. Don't we used, the dog there. used to swim in there. 
It had flavour though. Oh, that's why. That's why it tastes that way. <laughs> they put a fence up. So oh, I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it might be our fault. There you go. There you go. Well, yes, very good. I agree. I concur with that one. Well, and we're all looking great. That's what really matters. We're looking, we? it's kind of, kind of fine. And I am quite tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired. It is, it is a first. I can't day, begin so. to stress. So, uh, on that note, mm. um, I think we've come to the crux of the episode. What do we think? One, well, love or? Well, it's hate. going to be very hard to vote against that last one. I think. Mm. I'm feeling kind of optimistic. You ended quite powerfully there. I think yeah. that was a power play. I came into the episode feeling like kind of worn out, haggard, uh, a little dead behind the eyes, and now yeah. I feel less dead. rejuvenated. Less dead. Less yeah, dead. marginally less not, dead. Not, yeah. not, not, not dead. What's the opposite of shame? Less shame. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I think love. Okay. It doesn't really matter what I think then, does it? Well, I haven't committed yet. Well, all right. You commit. I enjoy the running, but often I run past internet works. <laughs> and that annoys me. Okay. So you're hating. I am going to swing hate. back to love, I have to well, say. What, I, a, what I feel, a shock. What a big surprise. I feel I have to plant a flag for positivity. I feel it's a new century for us. You know. That's true. Oh, yeah, 102 yeah. episodes. 102 episodes. Yeah. 102. Double figures. In a TV show, that would be like the first series, wouldn't it? Because that's how they number series. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So this could be like our first series. It's not, but it no. could be, couldn't it? Could we call this season two? We could. Oh, God, that's grim, though, isn't it? Because it's like... I'm going to call it season two. Yeah. Difficult second season. I that means so. a season is a hundred episodes. I know. I feel kind of like we've been through, like, four seasons. I feel... Okay, like... well, let's say a season's 25 episodes, so we're in season five. Season five. Season five, yeah. Off. That feels good. Off five. And you see, now I want to look back at, like, episode 75, and I'm like, what's the turning point that tipped us over into yeah. season four? And also, does every season mm. have, like, a big finale? A rough... Yeah, maybe it does. Like, does episode 25, for example, is that like a huge finale? Episode? I mean, that would be beyond fluky if that was the case. I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm going to have a okay. look. Yeah. I'll report back. Well, look, I, you know, you gave me shit about this last episode. And we'll do it again. Should we, say some, should we say some business shit? Oh, all right. Okay, yeah. well, you did that shit. at the start of the last episode. I know. When, now, we, when we were sort of feeling effervescent. When, when we I'm, talked about corporate shit. throwing it in at the end. So at the end, we can't be bothered yeah. to interrupt you. I wouldn't interrupt you. Oh, no, you're good. I don't think I'll interrupt you. Don't interrupt him. I wouldn't have thought so. No. Carry on. Any... When I, when I... Oh, that's funny, isn't it? Oh, played, it was, it played was... your hand a bit too quickly <laughs> there, didn't we? Well, was, I could play the same hand twice. <laughs> Damn it, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> he's a genius. Anyhow, if you have enjoyed the show, uh, there big, are ways big. you can support your three favourite hate boys. Big if. If you head on over to www.patreon.com forward slash Big Punch Studios, you it's can... Long, it's a long URL, isn't it? It is, yes. Or you can just Google it. It's a lot to Anyway, uh, if you'd like to support us on Patreon... If I was uh, Google, you, it'd be a lot for me to talk about. You can get access to... <laughs> Type in on the... If it was, was a new keyboard, I wouldn't know what Bonus I episodes this awful man. of awful a show called right. Hate. And you can help keep us in the sweet, sweet liquor that we need to make this show. We do need it. Yeah. This is a nice beer, actually. You got it was all right, actually. Yeah, that was a highlight. That's yeah. the first one. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. So, yeah, you Cobolo. can... Cobolo. Cobold, I believe. Oh, I've you misread that. Christmas <laughs> hominid. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, if you enjoy the show... And you felt like supporting us, it is possible through Patreon. You get access to bonus episodes, mm, including our Sonic the Hedgehog 2020 commentary track, a movie that we had nothing to, to do with. with oh, making. I see. That's the year of the movie. Yeah, that's when it came out. Yeah. We did it, the commentary we did, in 2021. Yeah. yeah. We did. I don't want to yeah. confuse them with any earlier Sonic the Hedgehog movies or indeed any later Sonic the Hedgehog movies. That may or may not be In case they're listening back to this. Yes, I understand. But also, if uh, you uh, aren't in a position to support us on Patreon, we won't hate you for it. I'll tell you what you could do, though. Please leave us a review. Mm. That really does make That's a difference. Free. That's free. That really does make a difference. Okay. Maybe on Apple Podcasts or potentially on Spotify. Does anyone listen to this through Apple Podcasts? Somebody. I'm doubtful. I'm sure somebody does, statistically. <laughs> okay. But also, if you can't, if you don't leave want to us do a, review a review on there, though, because it's nice to. Read actually, them. no, just do a review. Yeah, I like, just do a review. But also, another way that you can get involved is go to Facebook. Yeah, come join and our search Facebook. show called Hate. Join the soapbox mm. and chuck in some loves and hates in there because we might, if we can be asked, read them out. Yeah, it's quite. There, nice. were, there were quite a lot that we didn't read out. <laughs> well, I feel it's sometimes it's nice to let the let the, the little people kind of argue it we'll out. Do among them, we'll do them next time. Yeah, we'll do sure, some, we'll do sure, some. sure. We'll forget. Yeah, we will. We will. have. Well, look. I mean, um, we've we've reached a natural end. I mean, uh, you know, how yes. do we how do we kind of end this? Um, I mean, 